chat, my people, my people, my people. How you guys doing? We in the house. You know what I mean? We don't got Lady T on the wheels of steel tonight. But we got Smoop with the scoop, with the super troop. You know what I mean? Don't do. If you want the real, holla at Smook. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We got him on the wheels of steel, if you will. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Kyle. Shout out to Lady T. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Jerick. You know what I mean? Shout out to Ty. Shout out to Jake Merrill. Love them boys to death, man. Shout out to you all. Shout out to my brother, Coach Smoot, doing his thing. We here. We tapped in. A few topics tonight. Undefeated is thick. Run the numbers up as you guys usually do. Run them up so we can get this thing cracking. I am Coach Sean, here to talk to you about a few little topics. But as you all know, uh, we got to see who all up in here, man. You know, it's always, you know, no matter what happens in the, in the, in the, in the, in the 24 hours a day that you live, man. Remember, there's truth in the details, man. There's truth in every detail. Please remember that. If you remember that, man, everything going to be all right. The contents of my cup cannot be uh, displayed or discovered or told, right? It's G14 classified safety security agreement. Can't tell. So with that being said, shout out to Antoine Currington. What's up, Antoine? How you doing? Carla Bailey is in here. What's up, Carla? Jor, what's up? How you doing, brother? I'm glad you're up in here. Larry Lodge's in here. Is that Valencia starting it off already? Valencia. Boom. Valencia Hines becoming a YouTube member. Valencia, shout out to you. Shout out to shout my out mama, to you. man. That's my mama, y'all. That's, that's smooth mama. Yeah, oh, bro. Okay. Oh, hold I didn't on. Even notice that till you just said it, bro. That's yeah. my mama. <laughs> yeah, roll tide, mama. I am tired, Miss Valencia. Roll tide to you. I'm so glad you're a member. Your son do a great job. Absolutely awesome. You know what I mean? Love kicking it with my bro. You know I mean, thank you for coming to member. We really, really, really appreciate you more than you know. And you know, let, let's get all the Heinz family in here. Let's get them all. Let's get let's get the OG senator in here. You know what I mean? I'm I love it, man. Thank you. We appreciate you, Valencia. Road tied to you and your family. Um, shout out to Anitra. Anitra, what's up with you? How you feeling? How you doing? Hope everything's going well with you, right? Joshua Ray, what's up with you, Joshua? How you feeling, bro? I'm glad you up in here. Coach Smook is back here. You know what I mean? LaQuasia Gordon, home decorator. I love that home decorator. Might have to holler at you. Appreciate you. Thank you for being in here, LaQuasia. Carla, what's up with you, Carla? Jordan69 is in here. You know what I'm saying? Travel Pernil Sports Cash, home team. My broski in here. What's up, Travel Pernil? Glad you up in here, brother. Jermaine Mims is up in here, man. Um, Wind, Wendy, six, Wendy Six is in here. You know what I'm saying? Dr. 334, the broski's in here. What's up, Dr. 334? Patriot Life. Man, what's up, Patriot Life? How you doing, man? Glad you up in here, bro. Brittany B is in here, man. You know what I mean? We good up in here. Run the numbers up, guys. Do like you always do. Let's get this thing cracking so everybody come up in here and let them know we live. And uh, really, really, really happy you guys are in here and tapping in Kimberly Harmon. Kimberly's in here. Kimberly in here. I'm ecstatic, man. Thank you, Carla. Thank you, Kimberly. Cynthia Middleton, Cynthia's in here. Thank you guys for tapping in with your boy, man. I'm so glad you guys are in here. Kimberly, Cynthia, Carla, Jor, LaQuasia, Patriot Life, Tony Jones is in here, bro. Man, listen, thank you guys for tapping in. I appreciate you more than you know. We up in here. Tad Lawson is in here. What's up, Tad? Man, Buck, what's up, Buck? The homie Buck is in here. You know it's a cracking night when Buck up in here, man. What's up, Buck? What's cracking? Rob Hill is in here, man. He's in here. Smook is in here too, Rob Hill. He's on the wheels of steel right now. You know what I mean? Much love to you, though, Asdo, man. Thank you for being in here. Keep on tapping. Yeah, run them things up so everybody will tap in. You know what I'm saying? A um, few, little, few little topics to cover tonight. You know what I'm saying? Doing a little, doing a little, little something, something tonight. We hadn't had a busy day today. You know what I'm saying? So a few little topics to cover and, uh, you know, get everybody, get everybody's, um, opinion on what we got cracking right now anaya is in here uh desi 0619 is in here spirit of truth 81 is in here man please run them up i love that that's good stuff run them numbers through the roof baby through the roof you feel me so undefeated hope you guys are having a great saturday night 
The basketball team almost pissed me off because I thought we was going to lose to Arkansas and I was going to be thoroughly um, in my feelings, right? But these guys pulled it off. You know, I was very upset at first of how we played. Capstone Review, what's up, bro, bro? How you feeling, man? Uh, but they pulled it off. Nicole Covington, Nicole, what's up with you? Glad you in here. Thank you for tapping in. Anthony Harris, what's up, my bro? Glad you tapping in, my broski. Glad you tapping in, man. You know what I'm saying? I love that name, man. Anthony Harris. That reminds me of one of my best friends in Birmingham, man, from Inslee High School, Anthony Harris, a.k.a. Poot. That's my brother. You know what I mean? I miss him. You know what I'm saying? That's my brother from another mother, for sure, for sure. Um, Jim Parker, what's up, bro? How you feeling, man? It's Saturday night, man. We got to get it cracking. So check it out. As you guys heard the news today, um, Cynthia Middleton, my sister, love you to death. So glad you in here for sure. You know what I mean? Uh, Rob Hill, glad you're here, Coach Son, and always Road Tide from Ohio. Rob, Road Tide to you right back, my brother. Glad you in here. Thank you, my friend, for sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying? New commit, Zamir Smith. Zamir Smith. Let me say his name one more time. Zamir Smith. I don't know if it's Zamir or Zamir, really quickly. Either way, it is an absolute baller, man. Kid is an absolute baller. Now, me, I'm, I'm, I'm a reserved person, man. I'm a reserved person. When we get these commits, I don't just gravitate. I need to watch them first. I need to watch them. I trust the coach Saban. I trust Courtney Morgan. I trust the coach staff. But I like to see for myself, right? So I went to look at the young man's uh, highlight film, right? When they say athlete, that's exactly what the hell they mean with this kid, man. You know what I'm saying? Miss Hines, he is a true athlete. You understand what I'm saying? This kid was playing running back, wide receiver, safety, cornerback, and punt return. And dominated every single one of the positions. Now, he ain't the biggest kid, right? But we all know size don't matter. It's the size of the fight inside the player, right? I give him about 5'11", 6 footish. you know what I mean? 170, 175, but he's an absolute monster. Kid first three steps is out of there. When you're talking about speed, pure speed, man. Great vision, lethal. I'm talking about lethal. Let me say it one more time. Lethal in space. You see what I'm saying? This kid is absolutely, he's, he's a perfect type of cat for this offense or defense, right? Or defense. Um, most of his, his biggest highlights, obviously, on his tape was on offense, you know, with the wide receiver spot. Um you know, he, he he made a lot of splash plays from that spot. Uh, you talking about a kid from from Ridgely, Maryland, North Carolina, North Carolina High School. Hey, Mac, what's up with you, bro, bro? How you feeling, man? 2025, and he can, might play cornerback, right? He might play corner. You know, now his tape didn't have a lot of tackles on it. He played some corner, some safety, a little bit, but his offensive highlights were absolutely outstanding absolutely outstanding um at jim parker i mean coach smooth say cornerback right and he may well play corner when i watch him all i have to go on is the tape i see this kid is a dominating wide receiver dominating right when i see corner i didn't really see him tackle that much right i didn't really see him cover that much katrina blackman what's up sis how you doing Glad you in here for sure. What's up with you? How you feeling, man? Hope you're doing good. Hope you're enjoying your Saturday night. You know what I mean? Glad you in here. Um, I think he plays. I mean, I, I would like to him to play offense, right? I don't know that he will. He very well may be a corner like Coach Moose say. But this kid is offense. This kid is offense. His 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 wide receiver tape is outstanding, right? I mean, a, a jump cut kid. You know space elite elite in space man you know what i'm saying so georgia wanted this kid maryland penn state south carolina tennessee Texas, virginia tech were among the, the the players for this kid um maurice linquist did an absolute outstanding job with this young man you understand what i'm saying his exact words were he loved the scenery here um he loved how they handled their practices um it's the same people. They're the same people on the practice field and not and off the practice field. Same energy. A lot of love, right? Uh, just the love for Alabama football, the love for, for our players. 
the love for for everything in crimson and white and um you know co-defensive coordinator colin hitchler also contributed to this man's recruiting um aaron hodges courtney morgan all these guys had a, a big hand in recruiting this young man um you know coach coach DeBoer gave him some pointers he talked about uh so they talked about 20 25 minutes gave him some advice about uh separating himself from others uh coach hitchler did an outstanding job with this man uh he had a lot of great things to say this is a 4-4 kid right um an absolutely outstanding young man who could play anything right reminds me a lot of arian hampton a lot of arian hampton you know uh long strider you know absolutely fast kid man fast 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 kid right when a kid is an athlete like that you can really teach them to play anything any position anything right stephen craig what's up with you man how you feeling so i'm ecstatic about this young man these are the type players that you want right these are the type players that you want right the the, the kids that 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 pop onto the radar and you grab them as soon as they pop onto the radar man a lot of heavy players are in for this young man right so i'm ecstatic about it i really really am um hey jor now that you say that man he do look a lot like cyrus jones a lot and from the same area right same almost the same area um jim parker says sean and the naysayers are say our recruiting would be down <laughs> You're right, Jim. Let them say what they want to say, right? Let them say what they want to say. You know what I'm saying? Let they let the naysayers talk because that's all they're gonna do. Tweet, tweet me to death, talk me to death. It's okay. It's okay because at the end of the day, the truth is in details, man. And the details state that Alabama is picking right up where they left off. So all else don't even matter, right? It don't even matter. This young baller is a baller. He's a young baller, young headhunter, and can do anything and play anywhere. And I feel fortunate to um, to have this kid, right? Roll Tide to Zamir Smith and his entire family. Uh, you're going to have a big career here at Alabama, young man. Um, now that you're committed to Bama, it's going to be a lot of clutter. It's going to be a lot of noise. A lot of other schools are going to try to come at you just for that fact. Fast, right, right, Katrina? It's going to be a lot of noise, right? He committed to Bama. So now you're going to get all these other offers based off the fact that Alabama offered you, right? That's when you just turn a deaf ear. Just turn a deaf ear, right? Right, Kimberly? Turn a deaf ear to it, right? Bama wants you, right? I think your career is going to be sky high here, right? You are an absolute outstanding athlete that can play any side of the ball he wants, right? And to have these type kids and signifies and enriches our future here at the University of Alabama. So shout out to Zamir Smith and the entire Smith family. That's a all that's a whole fact, baby. Go get it, young bowler. Levi Wallace. Levi Wallace. Bama vet, Bama walk on who earned himself a scholarship the hard way, right? Bama vet Levi Wallace, man. Now, Levi has been in the league, obviously, ever since he left Bama. He started for the Buffalo Bills for years. He started, he got traded to Pittsburgh. Uh, him and Minka are back there doing damage to people. And here's a little nugget. Him and Minka are wearing each other's numbers from college. Minka wears 39 and he wears 29. When in college, Levi was 29 and Minka was 39. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's crazy, right? He's a four-star, Jeff. He's a four-star. And if 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 you take my recruiting prowess for what it is, by the time the next cycle comes around when he'll be a senior coming into Bama, he'll have a fifth star. That kid will have a fifth star. Trust and believe that. Kimmy J said it best. Haters gonna hate. I personally am ecstatic about the hate, though. I would be upset. Adam Lemperillo, the Broski, Patriot Life, man. Both the Broskis in here. What's up with y'all boys, man? Glad to see y'all on this fine Saturday night, man. Listen, without the hate, I'm upset. I, I love the hate. Huh? I absolutely wouldn't have it any other damn way, right? I love the hate. I, I, I love it so much. I embrace it. I need it, right? Right, Miss Hines? You know what I'm saying? I need the hate. I need for y'all to hate more. Hell, don't, 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 don't stop with one or two hate. Hate.
take all year if you want. Because you know what? It ain't going to matter, player. It ain't going to matter when the season starts. You know what I mean? We start putting B2A. It ain't going to start. For all the new people in here, B2A, if you pardon my language, mean belt to ass. That's what it means. Belt to ass. That's what we're going to do to other teams. That's what we're going to do to the other team. Matt Farms, what's up, bro, bro? How you feeling, man? Glad you up in here. So it don't matter. Let them hate. They do us like this every year. They talk bad about us. Brittany B. What's up, Brittany B? You already know how they do us, Brittany. They talk bad about us. We're going to fall off this. I think these people are wishing upon a star somewhere, right? I think these people are wishing and hoping on a damn star, right? Nicole, you already know, sweetie. You already know what it is. They wishing, Kimberly, you know how I go? They wishing upon a star somewhere. You know what I'm saying? I hope Alabama fall off. I pray they fall off. I'm so tired of Alabama winning. You know what I'm saying? So I personally enjoy that and love it, right? I, I, I smell it and embrace myself in it. Hate more because when the season starts, it's going to be a lot of people mad. It's going to be a lot of people upset. And that's what it is. Jeff Horn, Jim Gunner, what's up with y'all, man? How y'all boys doing? Road tied to you and your families. Yo, Levi, let me tell you about Levi. He came in, walked on to Alabama, absolutely dominated his box, received a scholarship, went to the NFL, and still dominating his box, right? So, Levi just, um, he was up for uh, to be a free agent, as we all know. And, um, you know, Levi, to his credit, um, I'm so proud of him. Just signed a two year, extend two year, $8 million contract with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Two more years, $8 million, right? Doing big things. So they asked Levi a question. He was doing an interview and um, they asked him a question. <laughs> it was on Good Morning Football. And they asked him, you know, uh, which players do he dislike the most in the NFL? between LSU, Georgia, and Auburn. Now, again, they asked him, which players do you dislike the most between LSU, Auburn, and Georgia? Levi Wallace, he cracked a smile. You know that crooked smile he got? He cracked a little smile, you know what I'm saying? That's Sammy Davis he got going on. Shout out to Levi. He said, it's the last name that you brought up. So the reporter looked like the guy on TV, like, what, which one did I say last? And the last name he said was Auburn. He said, that's the only game Auburn cares about every year. He said, everybody makes a big deal because it's hard to win at Jordan Hare. He said, um, but that's the only game they care about. So, I mean, those guys, he said, those guys are some suckers. <laughs> he called them some suckers. When he said suckers, I was like, yes. Yes, you know what I'm saying? He called him suckers right in front of everybody. He was absolutely amazing, right? He was absolutely outstanding. He called them suckers with a capital S, man. He said, those guys are some suckers. He said, I don't have a problem when they come, but the players that come into the league, they know what it is. And then he said, he ended it with this. He said, if they ever want to kiss my rings, I'll have them for them. I like to throw my pen across the table when I heard that. I like to took my pen and just threw it just because, man. I got so hyped when he said, he said, if they ever want to kiss my rings, I'll abide. You know what I'm saying? It was absolutely amazing. It was absolutely amazing. He put B2A off the chain. Didn't even say nothing. He put b He said, he said, we don't care about that. Let's talk championships. You want to talk iron bowls? That's cool. He said, but let's talk championships. And the room was quiet. You could have heard a pen drop, man. Shout out to Levi Wallace for putting B2A. And, and, and only the way he can, man. Shout out to Levi for that eight million dollars he finna get, right? Shout out to you to the young baller Levi Wallace and his family. Come from a great family, military family. Um, you know, a lot of love and respect for those for that young man and and how he went about his business at Bama, uh, earned his keep at Bama, and still earned it in the NFL. Shout out to Levi Wallace, a true built by Bama player, and. Uh, an experienced B2 air of the Auburn Tigers, of West Georgia Tigers. Shout out to Levi Wallace. Listen, oh yeah, let me give it, let me stop real quick before I go to my next topic and send a big shout out to Bo, Bo Scarborough, man. If anybody see Bo, tag him in this. Um, 
shout out to the homie Bo Scarborough, man. Bo being from the state, uh, one of the best athletes to come out of the state of Alabama, a dominant, dominant football player, right? In high school, a dominant football player at Alabama. Uh, played the same, I know about playing that position, played in my life. Uh, Bo held himself with class, as he always do. And one thing you got to give Bo Scarborough love on, man, he's always a Bama guy, man. He's always pulling that cord. That's why I love, listen, you know, I like I, I like Bo and I like Marvin. I love those guys, Marvin being more my age, right? True Bama killers right there, right? True Bama ballers, right? Um, I, I tell people all the time, if the kids today could have half of the stuff that Marvin constant had in him these kids would be true monsters for the rest of their days same with Bo Scarborough um dude has always represented himself well you know what I'm saying an absolute monster when you give him that football I can remember the Clemson game um was, you know they didn't want to tackle Bo at all it's a lot of teams that didn't want to tackle Bo you know that big 220 pound something dude 230 pound whatever it was coming at you downhill and Bo's the type cat unlike Najee my brother Najee Bo wasn't gonna wiggle Bo wasn't gonna well, Bo was not going to juke you unless he absolutely had to Bo was gonna lower that shoulder and punish you man and make you have a business decision of do you really want to do this right shout out to Bo Scarborough who retired from football um you know I know how I go man an injury sometime will rob your career God knows I know two ACLs and a and a and a and a, and a Achilles right so I know how that go, man. Uh, I got the scars to show it, man. Shout out to Bo Scarborough, a true, true Bama legend. Love that cat to death. And um, Bo going to be successful in whatever he do, man. God is good to him. And he's going to be successful in whatever he chooses, man. Roll tied to that young man, Bo Scarborough. Um, Jalen Miro speaks out, man. Jalen Miro speaks out. Now, what Jalen said is not a secret to anyone. Um, I think we all already knew this, right? But Jalen sort of signified it, right? I'm glad Jalen didn't go into too much detail on it because all I was going to do is just start up a bunch of whirlwind with this school or that school. We know what's going on. And as a Bama fan, for me, I know what's going on. And, 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 and that's enough for me. I don't even know what schools, right? We know what's going on. After what happened with Caden Proctor and Caleb Downs, I don't even need to know the details, man. Don't even need to know it, right? Uh, Jalen kept it 100, though, man. This is why I rock with Jalen, because Jalen kept it 100. Um, Jalen is tough-skinned. You can tell that young man understands playing this position come with a lot of uh, a lot of unnecessary hate, right, as all quarterback positions do from here on out, from college on to the pros. Um as we all know, the quarterback get too much of the credit and really too much of the blame, as we all know. Um, I really enjoyed the conversation he had. They asked Jalen Miro. They asked him straight up. Um, when Nick retired, um, were there other opportunities coming at you to leave Alabama? And Jalen just casually answered, 100%. 100%. Right, he says sharks in the water, right? Sharks in the water, aiming to get me out of Tuscaloosa. You know what I'm saying? New coach in town, Coach Saban, the goat leaves. Perfect time to leave Alabama, right? How they tried to make all the all the uh players think that. Run those numbers up, guys. Thank you for that, man. Thank you for everybody run those numbers up. Tim Tim Nolan, what's up, bro? Josh, what's up, bro? Jamie Gunner, what's up, my friends? Roll tied to you all, man. Dwight, what's up, bro? How you doing? Dr. 334 is always in the house, man. So what he said was he was just what he said um is is he 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 you know kind of put the bow on it, letting people know, yeah, schools were coming after him to leave Alabama, right? I'm glad he put that out there, but I'm also glad he didn't say who, right? I don't need to know who, right? I don't even want to know who because that's gonna send me off on a tangent. Moon Rocker, what's up, bro, bro? So he did admit it. Yeah, school was telling me to leave. And then he said, he told what I liked about it. He said, I told my family, I made a commitment to my family. I said, when I go to the University of Alabama, I told them I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get my degree from the University of Alabama, no matter what, no matter what. And um, he said, that's something that stayed on him. 
it stayed on him no matter how hard i gave my parents my word and he stuck with it man he said um i trust the process miro trusted the process he saw michael Penix at indiana michael Penix wasn't michael Penix at indiana right michael Penix became michael Penix when he got to washington right michael Penix had been in college three four years the cat was older right he had a decent season right nothing like he had at washington right so he saw that one would argue that jalen miro his year he had last year when you combine them together was better than michael Penix few years before washington right so jalen saw that jalen seen the progression i'm sure jalen seen what this young man coach DeBoer can do with me if i stick with him right so shout out to Jalen Milrow, man. Jalen Milrow is, is, is consequentially the Bama, the perfect Bama player to me because he didn't bend over and take a crap on Alabama. He played a position where he probably could have went anywhere, right? Could have went anywhere. And so for this kid to stay at Alabama and, and through all the hate, the ups and downs, right? I give him all the respect, all the respect, man, period. I just do. He said, he said, he went on to say it's a great system, right? He went on to talk about how he's happy with it, how they're learning the offense together. Um, he said, we're trying to learn it as much as possible because it's new, it's different, right? But it's going to allow us to be really, really good and really, really explosive. So we're all excited. So Jalen Miro is excited. This kid threw for 2,800 yards, right at 3,000 yards, 23 touchdowns. He rushed for 500 and another 12 scores. Jalen is going to be a Heisman Trophy candidate this year going into the season. You better believe it, right? So he said, um, when they asked Coach Sheridan, how confident are you with Milro? You know, first year starter for real, right? How confident are you? How confident are you? Coach Sheridan said, very confident. He's an extremely talented kid. I think more than anything, he's just a great person. Um, I've really enjoyed getting to know him and his family. Obviously, everyone knows the talent, the explosiveness as a passer, the explosiveness as a runner. Well, obviously, he's very electric as a runner, as we all know. But I just enjoy getting to know him as a person um, and what his journey has been. Right. So I got all due respect to Jalen Milro, man. He did signify. Yes, schools were coming after me. Right. And I'm glad he put that out there. I'm glad he put that out there, man, because I need for the fans to understand how important it is when you have a star of his caliber that did not leave Alabama, especially playing the position that he played, the money position, as I call it. Right. I'm 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 I am completely absurdly sure that Jalen could have got a huge bag from somewhere else. Right. So I did some digging. I know one school that off. I know of one school. I already heard of one school that tried to get him to leave. Right. And it doesn't shock me a bit. It doesn't shock me a bit. Right. So I'm proud of Jalen, man. I'm proud of Jalen for not leaving. Um, I really enjoy the fact that 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 even though he's from Texas, you know, OU and all these schools. They can't get him. You gotta give Jalen his just due, man. You gotta miss just you gotta give him his just due because playing that position, that young man could have went anywhere else, man. And not only did he did he did he did he big up Alabama and big up the new coach, he pretty much stamped it way back a month ago, two months ago, whatever it was, when Coach Laban left. He said, Roll tide, and I ain't going nowhere, walking into that building. So shout out to Jalen Milrow, man. You my quarterback, broski. And I'm rocking with you till the wheels fall off. And when they fall off, if they fall off, we're going to put them back on and keep on rocking. Bama. That's all I got to say. Bama. Our snap issues. I say again, our snap issues. Now, I'm not going to call the kid name. We all know who the center was. I'm not going to beat him up no farther, right? I'm not going to beat him up. He didn't, he didn't had his his B2A moments. He's going to another school, right? We're not even going to call the kid name, and that's just what it is, right? But I will say we all understand that snap issues contributed, contributed largely to us losing the game against Michigan for, for, the, for the national championship. We understand that, right? 
we're not gonna say that was the only thing but you better damn well believe it was the main thing right so we don't have to keep talking about the kid but we i want to talk about um coach cap as i call him coach chris kapilovic i don't know if it's kapilovic or kapilovic you know what i mean so i'm gonna call him coach cap just to be safe i don't want to butcher the young man's name um yeah shout out to cynthia facts 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 cynthia you know we ish don't even get me on my soapbox about that game good night i'll talk about that to tomorrow right brian thomas what's up bro what's up brian how you doing tony jones what's up bro mark southern mark southern what's up with you bro jj how you doing family hope everything going good with y'all boy good stuff man so listen coach cap talked about um hey i appreciate you kimberly all love all love as usual right back to you um so coach cap talked about the 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 issues from center and he didn't go in he did the same thing he didn't talk bad about seth or anything like that he didn't he didn't talk bad about him um he understood right he 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 pretty much just said everybody's heard about it everybody's heard about it right but what I like about Coach Cap is he said we train those guys, right? We teach those guys the techniques. We grade them every day, right? Every snap is charted. Now I don't know if they done that last year. I don't know if they done that last. I hadn't heard. I did some digging. Run the table sports. My broski Insley High School in the house. What's up with your bro? That's my boy right there running the table, man. We know some same, we know the same people, man. That's my broski right there, man. Tristan Bryan, aka the male of Tuscaloosa. How you doing, Tristan? Glad you up in here, bro. Run the table. Glad you up in here, bro. And my brother running the table can sing. He got them pipes on him, man. He got them, them pipes on him for sure. Marquita, my neighbor. What's up with you, girl? I'm so glad you in here. Um, I don't know that we done that last year. I don't know that we charted every single snap because if we charted every single snap, that young man should have been on the bench the third week of the season. So I can assumptionally say just my humble opinion. I don't think we done that last year. Couldn't possibly have, right? Well, Coach Cap said every snap is charted. Every snap is charted, right? He said it's something that we take seriously off season. He said um, they're snapping year round, year round, and it's important, right? He said snapping is so important. Um, it reminds me uh, of a situation that he had. Coach Cap has been in a situation um, where he had four centers playing, right? Four centers, and he lost three of the four within a month. He's been in a situation like that right exactly cynthia you already know nicole right um so what he said was he liked to have eight to ten guys that can efficiently snap the football right i was like wow i had to read that again i was like eight to ten guys right that can efficiently snap the football year round right um now he said half of those guys may never take a snap their whole career, may never snap the ball their whole career, but you never have enough guys, right? He said, the first question that the NFL scouts asked me is, can he snap, right? Can he snap? So to have that many kids um, in on snapping the football, I think that's outstanding. I think that's outstanding usually you have your starting center you have his backup it may possibly be a third guy right but to have eight to ten guys that can snap the ball efficiently you should never be in a situation where you're where you're using that many people so i think that's a great idea um i think it's it's great to devote time right in the off season to getting these kids snaps um injuries happen as we all know um so, you know, I, I can't say nothing bad about it, right? It did, JJ. It killed us, man. Um, it sort of cut us in half on offense. It sort of took the element of surprise away from things we wanted to do on the zone read. On the zone read. It sort of um, made us discombobulated from a play standpoint. Uh, when you're having to look down, catch the ball, um, 
everything on that field is moving exceptionally fast so you don't have time to you know be super athletic and catch a snap that's that's way off target every single time we all know that so yeah it did it cost us it cost us big time and um you know to hear that coach cap is really taking that to heart so that does not happen again that means a lot that means a lot man i'm really really proud to hear that um brian thomas says coach the new offensive system is what they do offensive line do you think our old line will bring more physicality plus athleticism with the talent that we have i'll say this brian in my humble opinion i think that this offensive line will do what they do well um i don't know if physicality is the right word being the type of offense that we run but i'll say i think it was something that scott huff said before he left it was something i can't remember the actual slogan but it was something and i'm paraphrasing it was something of he'll take the better technician offense than the than the bigger stronger offensive line he'll take the more well coached more precise stepped offensive line over the big girthy powerful offensive line and and remember this too brian for what we're about to do on offense you need agile offensive linemen you need guys that can pull efficiently you need guys that can that can put a hat on the hat cross block x block down block you need guys that can be efficient you need guys that, that take the right steps you need guys that can pass set fast not all slow right like they're feet in the mud so you need the more agile quick offensive linemen um and uh, i think we'll have that i think we'll have that i really do undefeated what you're talking about i need to know Tristan, a.k.a. Bryant, a.k.a. the mayor, says, I think the coach looked at this offensive line and said to himself, I like what I have to work with. I'll just coach them up and play as one. Yeah, I mean, I think he said that too, Tristan. I think so because at the end of the day, Alabama's offensive line has talent. Now, we hadn't played very well in like the last three years. We really hadn't played very, very well. Alabama has given up 30 plus sacks for three years straight. That's not good, right? But if you're looking for a silver lining in that, through giving up all those sacks, Alabama has been to the playoffs too for the last three years, man, right? With horrible blocking, <laughs> right? So, you know, the offensive line has not played well, but we've actually overcame that. And, um, and play well right um so i do think that this offensive line coach is just what we need um i think there needs to be some time uh a fresh innovative start to everything i think we have that right i do believe we have that um i read where tyler booker even spoke to Najee harris um, while things change things stay the same tyler was speaking about how he saw Najee at the super bowl he saw Najee at the Super Bowl. And what he said was, Najee asked him, do you guys still do the fourth quarter program? Najee Harris asked Tyler Booker that. And Tyler was like, of course, of course. So he said that Najee told him um, the fourth quarter program is, is, is the bane of our existence. That is what has made Bama, Bama, right? So the more things change, the more they stay the same, right? Um, I'm really ecstatic about the future. Um, I appreciate you, Antoine. Appreciate you, Antoine, man. Much love to you, my friend. Straight up, man. That means a lot. Uh-oh, Patriot Life is at it. Patriot Life is at it. Shout out to Patriot Life. Get the five Bama football on YouTube with Kyle Henderson memberships. As always, Patriot Life doing his thing. Got one thing I want to, um, Coach Smoke, you still in the back? I want his coach smooched in the back. We got some sponsors that I want to give some love to real quick. Um, I want to give some some love to our sponsors. These guys do an absolute great job, right? And I want to give them some love real quick. I want everybody to watch it. If you ever in the vicinity, make sure you tap in with these guys. Check it out. Special thanks to our sponsor, Residence in Ocean City, Maryland. Guests can book at residenceinoc.com. Use the promo code 
LPR for special Bamo football pricing up to 20% off. Also, go to the rogueshop.com, use the promo code Bamo. You get legal CBD. For me personally, I like the topical oil. You know how intense my workouts are, right? So I like the topical oil. I like to rub that on my back, whatever, after those cinder blocks. So go to their website, cruise down, look through their website, and uh, definitely check out rogueshop.com. And like I said, I like the topical. Again, the promo code is Bama. Also, think about becoming a fan funder right here on Bama Football on YouTube. Become a part of the undefeated as low as $2.99 a month. That's 10 cents a day how do you do this make sure you're logged into your account this is on a computer you can also do this on your phone and look for the tab that says membership once you click membership you can see different options you can see an upgrade button right there to the right if you want to go through the different levels we have fan funder videos from the staff right here at bamboo football on youtube very easy to navigate let us know if you have questions inside the comment box when trying to upgrade or renew your fan funder membership right here on Bama football on youtube and of course if you want to rock that undefeated gear check out our merch store located at the bottom of the videos we appreciate patriot life cynthia antoine caitlin and to everybody else that supports us right here on Bama football on youtube you guys look outstanding in that undefeated gear man I'm about to get me some bro you guys have peer pressured me and i i got the I got to succumb to it when I see those pictures. Oh, great, great sponsors, man. Shout out to those guys, right? Monica Hill, what's up, Monica? Nitra, how you guys doing? Glad you up in here. But um, yeah, so I'm excited, guys. I'm excited, as we all should be, right? Um, all facts, all facts. All facts, JJ. You already know, man. Yo, Coach Smooth, what's good, brother? Uh-oh, got Coach Smooth. What's up, Coach? How you doing, man? What's cracking man, with you? I'm out here in these streets, you know what I'm saying? I and with the on the wheels of steel. <laughs> Uh-oh, okay. You, we, exactly, bro. You And you still doing it. Thank you, Anitra. You but still, nah, hey, man. Uh, you I, was steel, just coming on, I was just coming on to commend you on how you're handling the show again, man. You're doing good, bro. I'm back man, here. I appreciate just, you. Just hey, I learned from the best, bro. I learned from the best, man. Thank you, guys, bro. I'm following y'all, bro. Thanks, bro, just shout out to the man. shout out to the undefeated, man. Shout out to y'all for showing love in the chat, man. Y'all, y'all was amazing tonight too. Appreciate Absolutely y'all. Absolutely outstanding, man. They always outstanding. I appreciate them greatly. Right? Thank you, Kimberly. You guys are absolutely awesome. Carla, Kimberly, Antoine up in here, man. Trevor Peniel always up in here rocking out. You know what I mean? Laquasha and the, just everybody, man. You know what I mean? Shout out to Mark Southern. You know what I mean? Shout out to everybody, man. We just in here doing it Saturday night. You know what I'm saying? Um, been watching those, watching those practices, seeing what these guys have been doing, uh, trying to catch glimpses of, 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 of you know what I mean? Coach Smook say he rubbernecking. <laughs> he up there rubbernecking. See, Coach Smook doing the good rubbernecking, though, right? We like when our fans rubberneck, as long as they come in. We don't like when them haters being here rubbernecking. Trying to see what we saying, trying to peep around the corner. You know how you got that person that's just peeping at you around the corner, trying to see what you're doing. That's what the haters be doing, right? Coach Smooth do the good rubbernecking though, the family rubbernecking. You know what I mean? Moon Rocker, what's cracking, man? How you feeling, bro? Hope you guys doing well, man. You know what I'm saying? I've been catching a couple of practices, man. Greg McKinney, what's up with you, man? How you feeling? We appreciate you, bro. Jason Dozier, what's up with you, man? How you guys feeling, man? It's a good Saturday night, bro. We blessed, you know what I mean? I wish this weather make his mind up, though. It was hot yesterday, and it got a little nippy tonight, man. I don't know what's going on. You know what I mean? It's, it's several people that be in here rubbernecking outside of our undefeated family. My partner's a Tennessee fan. He worked with me, and he be in here rubbernecking. He told me, I'll never comment, but I'll watch, though. I said, well, you know what? That's okay with us. Just come on in. Come on in, rubberneck all you want. We they be in here rubbernecking, man. You know what I mean? All facts. Smooth rubberneck. <laughs> Everybody saying it's smooth rubbernecking. Yeah, man. Wade's it's world. What's up with you, bro? How you feeling, man? What's going on, man? Yeah, JJ, I've been enjoying it, man. Let them hate, bro. That's all they gonna do, bro. I've been enjoying it, uh, JJ. I've been enjoying the practices, bro. Um, 
you know, just enjoying the the, the, the pace of speed that they working with, trying to trying to iron all the wrinkles. Uh, Brian Thomas, country talk, son, that Easter snap, maybe. Man, my little girl got me on that, bro. She was like, Daddy, you promise you're going to post that? I said, yeah, yeah, I posted on her. By two days later, she's like, you ain't posted yet. I forgot all about it, man. So I ain't want to lie to her. I went on posted it, man. I look like I look ridiculous, but hey, man, if she love it, I'm happy, right? Solid matter, man. Um, Jim Parker said, "Son, smooth. I think y'all ran off that Bama hating fool." Yeah, they, they, Jim. What did I tell you guys? What did I tell the undefeated? Them dudes will come. They'll be disrespectful, but when you start putting beat your way, they don't want to. It's, it's they don't want to come no more, right? They'll come, and if they see certain people in here. They out. They out. It's just like bad spirits, man. You start preaching them old scriptures, then bad spirits just, they scared of it, bro. They scared of it. It, it. it hurt them to hear it. It hurt their eyes. It's like scratching on a chalkboard. You know what I mean? Because you know we're going to always put B2A. I promise you. I promise you I will. You know what I mean? I'm going to ride with the undefeated till the wheels fall off. We're going to put them back on and ride some more. Right? That's what it is, man. Salute the Bo Scarborough like running table sports said. Facts. Salute to Bo Scarborough, man. Right? All facts to that young brother. Right? This this game, man, that we all love. It was a beatdown, Jim. All facts. This game, they will, Brian. They will respect our space, man. Facts. Um, this game that we love so much will rob us of our of of it will rob you, man, of your playing career, your playing future at times. Um it will rob you, man. You know, and there's a lot of us that got the scars to show it, right? Um, but we wouldn't change nothing beside the fact of the injuries. Um, you know, what God got for you, God got for you. And 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 it's up to us to accept that, you know, good, bad, or indifferent, right? Everything happens for a reason, you know, and the truth will always be in the details, man. That's what it is. Um Yeah, dude left. He left. And he ain't gonna say that. Gonna say, uh, Coach Sean, I can't wait to cow put the, tr the troll smashers in. Boy, please. You won't even put your face on your profile. You ain't no troll smasher. You're hiding. I know all about you. See, I didn't know about the see. I I I'm very green to social media because I never got on a lot of social media because of the job I had. They be frowning on that social media stuff. So I never got on that much, man. Right? Coach Smook was the one who really <laughs> uh really taught me i guess i should say about social media and and, and the ins and outs right because all i saw was the negative bs and i ain't want no part of that man right but i've learned through my social media travels like i'm probably 12 years behind y'all with the social media so i'm just learning for real these people that hide behind these goofy little profiles and say all this ridiculous stuff right and it makes me see every time the more ridiculous they talk it's always some profile with a damn bird on it or some profile of a of a of a toothpick or some crazy letter or some goofy profile but they say such bad things so i don't even try to pay them no attention and it's the same with the haters they come in here talking crazy you don't even have your how am i supposed to take you serious man you don't even have your face on your profile right and it's okay not to have your face on your profile that's fine but if you're going to come talking all this super, super, super jazzed up, turned up, the Bama ain't this, Bama, at least have the um, cojones to put your face on your profile, homie. So at least I know you a real person, right? Right? If you're going to troll, troll big, bro. I can't respect that small time troll, man. I'm just going to take the belt and slap your lips clean off your face, belt the ass. I ain't paying no attention to you coming here talking crazy. It'd be fine. <laughs> Caleb, Caleb Taylor says, son, what you said about the, uh, let me grab that, Caleb. What you said about the most annoying and obnoxious, obnoxious fan base, you were right. I experienced it at the B-Ball game last Saturday. They were delusional. Hey, man, it's crazy. Yeah. I told y'all about that fan base. Them dudes is crazy. I don't, I ain't got nothing to... We asked a question a couple of shows ago. We asked a, couple, a question a couple of shows ago, Caleb. And I asked the undefeated. I said, I want you guys to tell me what school that you just absolutely cannot lose to. If you had, if God said, I got to give y'all one loss on the year, right? What school could it just not be to? Anybody but them. 
And I told the chat what was mine. I told the chat, I, I, I'd rather lose to Auburn than lose to Tennessee. And that's a hard pill to swallow, right? You don't want to ever lose to any of them. But if you just have to pick one, man, I can't lose to Tennessee, bro. That 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 affects my DNA, bro. Like, football shouldn't affect me like that, but it does. It affects me. It affects – if we lose to Auburn, I'm pissed off. But the Auburn fans are like little ants outside crawling around right now. You don't give a damn, right? You you, you care, but you don't care. They're never going to win again. It's fine. We'll give you a win every – whatever. Okay, whatever, right? But losing to Tennessee is mentally bad. Mentally bad, bro. It ain't good for a Bama fan to lose Tennessee, man. It upsets your balance, your flow of life, man. Losing to Tennessee is 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 spiritually unkind. You understand what I'm saying? It really is, man. It's spiritually unkind, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. So yeah, I, I can't lose to them dudes, bro. I just can't. I cannot, man. We we lost when that game we lost to Tennessee when Bryce, you know, the game. The most recent one, two years ago, whatever, two season before last, when they tore the damn goal down and took it out of the stadium to go seesaw on it or whatever they, what they was doing, bro, I was physically hurt, bro. Like, I had to sit down and have a long talk with myself, like, bro, you don't even play. What's wrong with you? I had to really pray about that loss, right? So, no, nah, I don't want to spit. Hey, Dwight, it wasn't a good night, bro. Dwight, it was not a good night, fam at all for me man i was one of them fans you know what i mean so uh, uh we can't do that tennessee no more bro we we we, we just can't shout out to caleb dr three three four that was a bad night bro brother don't want to experience them kind of nights no time soon man no time soon hey adam laparillo you already know man appreciate you Dwayne madden i appreciate you my brother thank you for tapping in man Joshua Ray, Kimmy J, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Kimmy J says, Kimmy J says, my first time seeing your show, Ashon, I love it. Hey, Kimmy, tap in. Thank you. We appreciate you. Um, tap in with us, man. We, we the, the chat is the undefeated. You know, that name was given to the chat because they so outstanding and they're undefeated. I mean, they are literally undefeated. Look around the chat. You'll see these same people. You'll see Moon Rock up in here. You'll see Anitra. You'll see LaQuasia, Kimberly, Carla, Adam, Jor, Buck, Dr. 334. You'll see these same people. Wage World, Ty Alexander's in here, right? Adam Lamparillo, OG3000, at Carla M. Bailey, Patriot Life, right? You know, um, and there's several that Brian Thomas, and there's several that's not in here right now that we see on a regular, you know, and just tap in with us, man. We we enjoy each other. Um, John M, we all have a good time talking Alabama football. We're gonna all try to make it down to 8 8 together and take one big huge picture. And I'm gonna put it on the wall. You know, just we just enjoy each other, man. Just talking Alabama football and great content. And you know, we got a lot of good coaches here who know the game. Um, some great analysts here who do a great job with us. Uh we just we're just a family over here, man. It's just roll tide, period. Shout out to you, Kimmy. Please become a regular. We really appreciate your presence. All day, just like the White said, all day. Different people on all day long. Um, Coach Mook said he in the back, rubbernecking. <laughs> Cynthia says, want to meet you, Coach. Want to try to see you. Hey, Cynthia, come on down. I love to hug your neck. Say what's up to you. Take a picture. We Bama fans forever. It's what it is. Much love to you, Cynthia. Roll tight to you and your family. Brother Adam Lamparillo, as usual, coming through. And Adam says, Coach Sean, I think we're going to be better this year than last year. Do you agree? Thank you, Adam, first of all, for that $20 super chat. Awesome job, man. You do a great job. We appreciate you, Adam. I can promise you that the entire staff appreciates that, man. Much love to you, Adam. Roll tight, brother. And to answer your question, I think in places, Adam, we, we will be better. Um, I think by mid-season, offensively, I think we have the potential to be better. I really do. Um, depending on how the guys, especially on the back end, adapt to this 4-2-5, this team has the potential to be better. That's a whole fact. Um, Everything is working out. I'm not sure we're done in the transfer portal. Um. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if he go after another corner. 
um, an experienced cat in the in the transfer portal just to provide some depth, right? Just to provide some extra bodies there because we're exceptionally young at corner, exceptionally young, right? Great talent, great talent. I think J Jaleel Hurley is going to come in and take that spot opposite um, Damani Jackson. I think we have some guys like Xavier Brown, who I've been high on, some guys like Xavier Mincy, some guys like Drake Kirkpatrick, right? Some guys in the, that's going to play safety, that like Red Morgan. Some guys like Jalen and Bakway, some guys who are young and are the absolute immediate future for Alabama, right? I think our secondary is going to be absolute. Our secondary will be the strong point of this team here probably a year from now, right? Shout out to Ty Alexander. What's up with you, Ty? How you feeling, bro? Tim Nolan, you know what I'm saying? Kimmy J, you know what I mean? A year from now, I think the secondary will be the strength of this team. Um, they're going to be young this year on the back end in some spots, but it's great talent. It's great talent, man, right? Um, Joshua Ray said it best. Joshua said we're loaded, Coach Sean. Yeah. We have enough talent in that back end to be lethal for a while from now. Moon Rocker said it best. Moon Rocker said, if we are not better than the year before, it'll be the first time for Coach DeBoer. Tough act to follow, of course, but I think he would do it. That's a whole fact, Moon Rocker. Moon Rocker said it best. That's a tough, tough act to follow, man. But the fact that Coach DeBoer took this job knowing what come with it, knowing who you're, who you're following, and he willingly took it like, hey, man, I raise my hand. I'll take it. They tell you what kind of coach that dude is, man. He ain't scared. He ain't never scared, right? And so I appreciate him for that. Kyle Alexander, my broski. So I'm good, coach. I'm not going away. I'm just lounging. All good business, Ty. Good business, my brother. I appreciate you, fam, for sure. Fred Harris, what's up, bro? What's going on with you, man? How you feeling, bro? Road Ty to you, man. Road tied to you and your family, for sure, for sure. Larry Large is in the house. You know what I'm saying? My brother Patriot Life always up in the house. Caleb Taylor says, Sab, Jackson, Malachi Moore, no fly zone. All facts. All facts. It's going to take a couple of games to get these guys uh, on the same page. But when they're on the same page, look out, man. Look out. Run the table says, all right, Coach Sean, I agree with you. But them running backs going to have something to say about that. We got some fire coming in. Turbo on the way. All facts. Hey, run the table. You ain't said nothing but facts, my brother. Them running backs going to be something serious, man. I promise you. They're going to be something serious. Everybody quiet on the forefront with Richard Young. Watch out for Richard Young, man. This kid is talented, bro. You know what I'm saying? This kid is talented. He's talented as can be. I love the change of pace back with Kevin Riley and Daniel Hill, the young kid, the thumper, if you will. Daniel Hill, six foot two thirty, five eleven two thirty, absolute thumper. Got tree chunks for thighs, right? So I love the change of pace backs. The, the the thump, I love a good thumper, man. You gotta have a thumper that's gonna get you the tough yards. Um, so I appreciate every position. You're right though at the round of table sports. You're 100 percent right. Adam says Justice and Jam are gonna be lethal. Yeah, they are, man. Right. And I love the fact that everybody's counting Bama out. I just enjoy the fact that nobody is really giving us any just do. I right, Max 3D, what's up with you, bro? How you feeling, man? Glad to see you up in here. I right, Max says, I think we go after two or three experienced corners in the portal. Um, we'll have an elite secondary, and we get to ease the young guys in. Facts, I right, Max. Facts, I right, Max. That's actually to me a smart thing to do instead of throwing those kids out there like that. Um, you know, I think they will. I think they'll try to go after an experienced cat, you know, work him in and kind of ease the young players in so so they won't lose confidence, right? It's easy Yo. to lose confidence. What's up, Coach Smook? How you doing, man? Man, I just had to come in from outside. It got cold out there, man. My nose it running. Is. Weather <laughs> crazy, nose. man. I said, I started doing that. I said, let me get inside, man. Man, you know yeah. what? You just What's touched up? on something. I wanted you to keep expounding on because I think it can get good to end the show. Mm -hmm. And it was uh, the position changes. Uh, some of the guys in the secondary. Yeah, we've been we've been having this debate for probably like what two months now since those boys been on campus, since those true freshmen been on campus. Yeah, and um, I was sitting here thinking, and I, I got some like some real like good reports from like uh, some of the coaches, and uh, <clears throat> Red Morgan is really creating some buzz. 
this man. Like, like he might compete for some serious playing time, rotational playing time. Um, Damani Jackson, Keon Sab, Doggin, uh, yeah. Jaleel Hurley, him and Mincy are in like a tight competition. Yeah. Like the DBs are competing, man. And Bakwe. Yeah. They done had him at Rover. They done had him at Boundary. Like, like he, he I mean, he done picked up about 15, 20 pounds. No lie, Sean. He, he looked a solid 185, 190 pounds, man. I believe it. I'm so his like, legs. I was like, man, wow. and, and moving, bro. And just moving. Yeah. And every every drill, every everything that I watched and seen them do is like, like he he was right there third in line every time. Third in line. Coach, coach uh Mo, every time he wants somebody to demonstrate something, it's either Damani and uh Jalen or Damani and, and uh Jaleel. Yeah. Like so it's looking like those are the three top uh um uh like corners as far as being able to float. But on that boundary, man, we might see Mincy. A lot of people were thinking Mincy got uh were would get moved to safety. Safety, uh, yeah. I mean, he, he out there. They they competing, man. I, I just yeah. in every drill, bro. Every drill, every little. I'm telling you, them boys is competing. If you remember way back when I first, you know, I I knew you knew uh, of Red being from that area. When I watched that kid's film, he was smaller, but that kid would try to knock your head off, man. If yeah. you watch his film, yeah. this kid will try to d- destroy you, man. He run the alley with purpose, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That kid, that kid was he was physical. He was physical. He was small, but he was very physical. Man, it's crazy because even he's picked up some good weight, man. Like yeah. he's not as big as the others, of course. I mean, right. he got. It's gonna take him a minute for his body to adjust to of having course. some weight. Yeah, like it's. But Mbakwe's always had like a thicker frame. You know, Mincy was college size, college ready already. Xavier Brown, Xavier Brown, it's it's the small things with him, bro. It's the small yeah. things with him. I, I and and he's college ready, you know, size wise. I mean, Drake Kirkpatrick Jr. at safety, bro. That is so crazy. I, I said I, it, we was talking about this. Like, I would mm-hmm. not be surprised just because of depth purposes. Him, Peyton Woodard, getting the opportunity to be two A, two B for the safeties. Um, you get a second safety out there and you rotating them, getting them solid reps a game, you're going to see five wide sets a lot. I tell people this right here, Smokey, and you will understand this. I tell the chat this all the time. Drake Kirkpatrick has a... you A, a, a corner can play safety, but mm-hmm. rarely can a safety play corner. Play corner, yep. Right. So, you know, Coach Smokey understands what I'm saying. What's up, Sean Wiley? How you doing? Um, Drake Kirkpatrick is not stiff-hipped at all at all you know what i'm saying so <laughs> he, you know this kid he, he's he's much more physical than his father was his daddy was probably a a, a, a a all-around better athlete but i think dre fits that safety on the hash i think he gonna because he's physical yeah. that kid is physical right they gonna end up i think i think the more fluid he gets as far mm-hmm. as transitioning into his and you know breaking on the ball and things instead of because he he got that lurk he got that lurk safety type feel whenever he's he baits a, a lot, man, and so that's gonna that's gonna bite him, you know, because he's his size. He's gonna fill out a little bit more, and yeah. they are gonna move him in the box, and he's gonna have to be disciplined. He's gonna have to be like in phase a lot more than what he's yep. used to. So I yep. think I think he's gonna develop though, man. I, Mo Linquist and Colin Hitchler, bro, that they are some dogs, bro. They are some yep. dogs. I was looking at some of the stuff that uh, DBs was doing with Colin Hitchler. Yeah, I was like, oh, that's NFL type stuff. Yeah. Like for real, bro. Like for real, NFL type stuff. So I don't know, man. It, I'm, I people were doubting the the uh, defense possibly like being up the, the lead. Yeah, we got the experience up front. If that back end with Sab, Jackson, Hurley, or Mincy or Mbakwe, if they figure that out, bro, that's that's Crazy. three. That's that's just three spots. You really because yeah. your safety's inside. You're roving your husky. Smitty, Mitchell, uh, and and Malachi, that, that they got you solidified there. You got your linebackers, your inside linebacker room. Yep. You, you're four deep on both spots, like four deep for real. Yeah, and we know we got plenty of wolves. Got plenty of bandits. I mean, son, I don't it's know what college crazy. football is talking about when they say. <laughs> yeah, man, it's gonna be crazy. Shout out to Caitlin Ingle. I ain't see you, Caitlin. How you doing, man? Glad you up in here, Caitlin. Roll tied to you and Monica Hill for sure. Um, Sean Wiley, what's up, Sean? 
Yeah, man. They up in here, man. I'm, I'm, I'm excited, though, bro. I'm ready for to get it cracking. I'm ready for the full gear to come on so we can get some clacking going on, some real clacking. Um, yeah, man. Get them fundamentals down and let them get in them pads and let's work it out. You know what I mean? Uh, that's going to tell a story. Tapping in, sports. What's up to you, man? You know what I mean? Oh, see, this is what I'm talking about. This is why, I, like, I, Max, when you come in here, you always drop jewels, man. I didn't even consider that he was the freaking uh, – defensive yeah. coordinator and uh db coach for cincinnati yeah when they had sauce gardner and them boys and we did not just Brian, like, we didn't yeah. air it out on them boys we had to run on them yeah yeah they played that three three four on us man and um they they took jay more away anything deep they took that away completely oh that you know away trap you already call? know bro what's up tp yeah man so it's it's cool i can't wait for it though bro you know what i mean Run the table. Offense- yeah, man. Look, trying to catch up with you, big, big dog, man. Trying to stay up. What them offensive line? Our lineman look like down there, smooth. Man, Wilkin Formby is a dog, bro. I told is y'all, it? I'm telling y'all, man. He is going to be a starting right tackle. There's, I, yeah. I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to bet on it right now. I will tell y'all right now, he is a, a dog, man. It's, it's, it's all coming together. You remember we said it was the small things. Yeah, it was just like the small things. I mean it. It's it's there, bro. It's there. I'm not I'm not capping. Y'all know I don't lie. I don't I don't hype stuff up for real unless I know what I'm talking sure. about. Like Wilk and Formby, and I'm not an offensive line coach. I don't I don't evaluate yeah. offensive line. I know yeah. the basics. But he moves, man. He moves. Like he Tyler Booker, Jalen Roberts, uh James Brockemeyer looking <laughs> James Brockemeyer competing, man. Is he for real? Oh yes, old Brockemeyer is competing, man. It's about it's time, man. I, and it's I'm, and it's I'm, early. It's early, bro. Yeah. I'm I'm not I'm not yeah. going to sit here, but I'm just saying by like just getting out and moving. I mean, staying in low hip level, aggressive yeah. on the pads, like the stuff you want to see. Yeah. Even though it's it's early, it's like he's not lazy. He's not. He's not. That's what I worry. I thought he was lazy. You yeah. get what I'm saying? I and I'm like, man, your dad got to come on, man. Your dad is he he the, he the go he one of the ghosts when it comes to that O line thing. Yeah. So so. You gotta step it up and and man. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm excited about him, man. What Tim Keenan been looking like? Uh, you know that boy ready. He ready, yeah, man. Tim. He's so humble, man. Oh my God. Yeah. I, yeah. I love that young man, bro. He rooted, he, he rooted and grounded, man. Yeah, man. Very, sure. very. Uh him, uh psh, uh Q Rob. Q Rob, he, yeah, 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 yeah. He, I he don't he- like Chance, man, because he's been at Bama, he's paid his dues. I want Q Rob to have a big, big he meant Tim with years, man. I did really you hear do. what Tim Smith told me? Mm-mm. What did he interview? say? What did he say? I don't even think I post. I, did I post chat? Uh undefeated. Did I post the Tim Smith interview? I don't remember seeing Tim Smith. Maybe you did. I didn't it, see Tim. Didn't, Smith. I need to um I need to get that up. He said Tim Smith said uh I asked him what his motivation was coming into this season. Tim yeah. Smith said uh he said, I mean, you know, last year <clears throat> I, I wasn't consistent. I uh he said, I you know, we came short of our team goals. And he said, uh, you know, it was kind of personal, you know, watching Coach Saban lead. So yeah. I, I took it upon myself and I, I knew I could have went out last year, but I took it upon myself because I want to be when I when I when I leave college football, I want to be the best defensive tackle in my class. Yeah, like he he said that on like with a like with a straight face, bro. I want to be the best defense tackle in my class, and he looked so, at me. I was like, I feel that, I yeah. feel that. Like I felt shout it, bro. Out. Like I looked at him. I was like, I feel that. Yeah, yeah. shout out to Dexter Wright. What's up, Dex? How you been, man? Stay yeah, here, bro. Man. How you feeling? Yeah, I'm. I'm, 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 I'm ready, man. It, it, it's amazing, Coach Mook. When I look around and I see how many people are doubting Alabama, man. James Smith too, yeah. James Smith, young, yeah. young ball. I mean, bro, it's it's crazy because we are so deep everywhere. Now that I'm looking at it and uh, like you, you don't, son. You know when you go out and you watch people warm up, you can see people doing it like regular. And then you can look at some players and be like, oh, <laughs> like especially like wide receivers. Yeah. If they if they come out, you know, they doing quick slants, and I see a wide receiver, woo, you know what I'm saying? Mm, yeah. Fast. And just kind of yeah. let up. He kind of let up and just make a smooth catch tuck. I said, oh yeah, he a dog. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Just that that 20 seconds, I could tell if he a dog or not. That's why I saw in Caleb Odom. That's why I saw in Caleb Odom. That's what I seen in James Smith, Curtis yeah. Perry. 
Quay Rusar. Like Quay Rusar is about to go crazy, y'all. Yeah. Keanu Cope. Keanu Cope fast, man. I ain't know he was that fast. Really? He looked like he, yeah, he, he looked like he got a little smaller too. But it, yeah. it's like good lean. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they them boys, man. So listen. And maybe about, I just ain't uh, seen like live football in a long time. And my yeah. eyes is just amazed to be there. But this <laughs> these boys, and I ain't the only one tripping like this. When it come to like some of those names, Quay Russaw, yeah. Caleb Odom, like we was all in the weight room, like, man, we what we <laughs> Why does everybody yeah. think we fell off? Yeah, man. They they it's just because the coach, it's the it's the coach saving effect, of course. It's the coach saving effect. And I get it, but that's why you know what I'm anxious to see. And this may not have nothing to do with the play on the field, but this part really get me juiced up for the season, man. You know what I'm saying? This, this is the part that get me juiced up. I can't wait to see these kids walking down the corridor with Coach DeBoer. Does that make sense? Man, I can't wait listen, to see these. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. man gonna give I me hype, bro. I can't wait to see them coming down that corridor, man. That first game. I'm ready to see bro. that first walk of champion, bro. Like, the A-Day one going to be all right. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm hearing this. And it's crazy. Is Auntie Rita in the chat? If she was in the chat, um, they, they talking about doing some type of ceremonial type thing at the walk of champions on A-Day, bro. Like, like, okay, okay. Like a, like a handoff, a pass, another torch from saving the boy. Bro, I'm probably gonna be out there crying. I'm gonna be out. Yeah. There. Hey, so it was a quick, quick, funny story. Uh, me and Sharita, we was talking about like we was a few weeks ago. We was talking about that moment possibly happening, and we was like, we're gonna be out there. We like, no, that is that is you. The way you walking out, you falling out, crying, and uh, but we was like, man, that's gonna be monumental. You know, like Coach Saban, not going to be the head coach of Alabama football. Yeah, that's going to be crazy. Bro. That is crazy. That, and this guy, Kalen DeBoer. That's going to be in. super oh. crazy, man. I, that's I, crazy. Bro, I promise you. Who do we play first again? Western Kentucky. Okay, Western Kentucky, right? We dropping 80 on them boys. <laughs> man, listen, check this out. Western Kentucky, we coming down the, the corridor. Coach DeBoer leading us out. Man, the fans are gonna be losing their mind, bro. You understand what I'm saying? They're gonna be straight losing their mind, man. I cannot wait for that first game coming down the hall, right? I always picture us coming out to Goldberg's music. That go back, Google Goldberg's music, man. Bruh, hair on the arm, stand up type stuff. I'm talking about running yeah. through the wall type stuff, bro. So the fans are gonna lose their mind, bro. I'm gonna be, you know, I'm probably not yeah. gonna be at that game, but I'm gonna be in the front room going crazy. My neighbors think Man. I'm crazy as it is, bro. That first game, hey, wait. we. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking that me and Kyle, we was joking about it when we went up there to shoot the uh, segment, that little clip we made up at the Westgate in the penthouse. Yeah. And I was like, man, what if we did like, like kickoff weekend? What if we, we did it? Did that got that room? It was like, yeah, you got twenty eight thousand. I was like, you got twenty eight thousand. I ain't got twenty. I said twenty eight thousand. He was like, man, it's up there. I don't know if it's that much, but yeah. that would be a nice up. spot. Like, yeah, man, right across from the damn stadium. Shout out to Michelle Black. Shout out to Angela High School, Pure Gold. What's up with you, man? Alabama mm -hmm. and representative. Love you to death. Much love. Glad you're up in. Even though you're late, you know what I'm saying. It's all Fact. love. It's all love we to my people right there. We ain't My mad people. at you. We ain't mad at you at all. <laughs> it's empty, by the way. That's a problem. That's a problem. <laughs> not the, the content. Look, look. The contents of my cup on Saturday night shall not be revealed. It's G fourteen classified. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Kimberly? You already know, man. Marquita, you already know what it is. Oh, contents man, this is, is epic, G fourteen man. classified, man. You know Y'all gonna saying? get us in trouble with Kyle and T, bro. They ain't gonna let us get on the screen no more together. They gonna be like, Sean, <laughs> you, go, you do your segment. Smook, you do your segment. I know, nah, they right? Like, they like when we do this, man. They they down in Florida enjoying themselves, man. Yeah. They are enjoying yeah. themselves. He, I got to meet his mom after our show, our segment this morning. And she was like, uh, she put the headset on. She was like, oh, hey, Coach Smook, I just wanted to tell you that you all are doing so great. I watch yeah. you guys and I just want you to keep going, keep believing in yourself. It's all gonna yeah. be good. I, you know, I was like, thank you, ma'am. I was like, you might as well get ready to run a segment. She was like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and she went on it. 
Which Shout one? out to Moon Rocker, man. Moon Rocker had a good comment. Um, Jerry Judy and Mark Cooper. That's gonna be crazy. They have potential to be crazy, man. Jerry <laughs> Judy and Mark Cooper gonna be on the same team. The Browns. That is that's crazy, crazy, bro. It's crazy, man. That is that's crazy, crazy, bro. With a healthy Nick Chubbs, that's crazy, bro. That's gonna be, and they like they on that prime level. You know what I'm saying? That that prime age, they in their yeah. prime. So they, yeah. it's like they peaking right now. What they are is, you know, what they doing is who they are. Ain't too yeah. many more LeBrons out here. Ain't too many more, bro. You already know, man. Look, G14. Look, Moon Rocker. G14. Contents <laughs> of my grind. I feel that, man. You yes, know what I'm saying? Hey, LSU going to beat Bama. What? In what? Basketball? To my basketball? I might get us in bas- basketball. Touche. What you... In what game, Tyler? <laughs> to my basketball? Yeah, he definitely uh, talking basketball. I think yeah, it's gonna be insane. Yeah, Tap in sports. What's good? I didn't even see you pull up. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Chat, what y'all want to talk about? Hey. Urban. Well, what we was talking about the team, yeah. bro. And then you know I got to talk to Jam Miller, right? Yeah. Why y'all he trying to lie to me talking about he talking about he 210? 205. Yeah, 210. Yeah. Nah. Jam, you about 225, bro. That man, bro, he got he got two human babies for thighs. Like yeah. two. 10 yeah, pounds. He, he thick, man. He's inch long. Back. <laughs> Human babies, bro. Like, not preemies. We talking about full-term babies walking around with him on his on his body, bro. Yeah. And man, uh, Kendrick Law. Yeah, K- Kendrick Law, man. That dude, that boy. He, he, man. You know what I'm saying? You heard what Jamarcus Shepard said. I want to yeah, look like said, Kendrick Law when I grow up. I, yeah, I seen that. I seen that uh, presser. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. I like Shep, man. I like him, man. I love you that know. dude, man. He was trying to give me a, a, a opportunity to ask a question so bad. I seen, I felt it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I was like, man. And he was just, ah. So what, like, y'all had to wait for somebody to call on you or something? Yeah. So the person in charge, the SID, uh, he cool, man. Josh Maxson. I'm new in there. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So he don't know whether I'm like trying to raise my hand or, I, but I was yeah. raising my, my hand. But um, he yeah, was cool, man. He was cool. He was trying to explain. He was like, yeah, you know, just keep building up. Keep building up. Just keep showing up. And it's going to come. He said, it'll flow. It'll flow more natural. And I was like, thanks, man. But uh, yeah, Coach Shepard, because we had that interaction the day before, uh, on Wednesday in the hallway when I was uh, doing the Keon Keeley cut. Uh, yeah. That's when we had that interaction. So that was pretty cool to shake his hand and talk to him. We talked for a good, like, eight minutes, bro. Yeah, he, 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 uh, he seemed like he, he, I love his energy, man. Yeah, I love his energy. I love Coach Shep's energy. I love his energy on the field. He they made got a energy man. coach. Yeah, man, they do don't they, man? Mo Freddie Lincoln, Roach. I seen him out there. Freddie Roach, Freddie Roach, yes, Roach Mo, uh, Jamie Mosley is the support staff out there. He yeah. hype all the time. Um, Tony, uh, I just met him the other day. Tony, uh, strength and conditioning coach. He he helps. He's helps on the field too, man. Um, yeah. I can't remember his name. Is it Tony Jones? Probably somebody somebody guy, look it up. Man. I think, I think, but that I mean, it's energy everywhere. You know, David Ballou was already on that. Like, yeah, I mean, what about Coach Womack? What about Coach Womack? I mean, he liked to talk, he liked to get in, like, he talked trash. Um, I don't know if you've seen the video, when him, he uh, the, uh, live he was, on the field. Nah, he went to talk trash to Tyler Booker. He told him, he said, uh-uh, I'm seeing see that. Yeah, he was like, I right, uh, was it 62, whatever number, 52, whatever number, 52, Tyler, yeah. He said, "I right, uh, 52, I'm, I'm sending them blitz your way. And Tyler was like, come on, bring them. It was like, you know you ain't going to be able to handle it. You know you ain't going to yeah. get it. He said, all right. Yeah, see, I like that. He's like, I'm about like to send that, every man. one of them. He was like, yeah, man, I got to see like a little segment, bro. Like, it, them boys, they ready, man. They they real intense out there. They, having that music out there and all that is, is like, it, you can feel like it's a new era. And not yeah. to say, and I, I don't like when people take, that and say like oh y'all act like coach saving no the fact that coach saving set the standard this high and yeah. we're not regressing that's what we're alluding to that's what yeah. i'm happy about it's not that you get what i'm saying like it ain't that he's better than coach saving it's just dang how you didn't expect nobody to come in and be able to like impact recruiting yeah. impact like nil impact yeah. what i mean just impact every everywhere he's stepping is impact so Look, and this is what Coach Saban wanted, man. Coach Saban said, "When I leave, I want the I want to leave the program right here, not down here. I want to leave it 
to where the next coach come in can just step right in, you know what I mean, and do his thing, do his thing, step in his own shoes, not in mine, and do his own thing. And that's where Coach Saban has left it, man. It's great. And and, you know? and I mean, you gotta you gotta support staff around him, man. That's that's just we better enjoy it because it's, yeah. it's only gonna last for a max five six years, and we'll be looking for another head coach. If not another head coach, we'll start seeing the assistants go. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But if Kalen DeBoer goes to the NFL, I think Jamarcus Shepard might be a good candidate for our next head coach. Jay Shep, yeah, man. Shep. Man, let me – and I know yeah. people will probably say, oh, it's too hype, too much. But what he embodies as a coach and his knowledge of the game, like you can do what Kalen DeBoer did. You go and get staff members that do what you can't do. Go get people that do it great. Same thing Coach Saban did. He went and got a defensive uh, – uh, uh, as a head coach, he got a defensive coordinator who was learning in his system that understood it at a high level. And then he built around that, let the offensive guy come in and pull what he needed, right? That was going to be able to run the scheme that he designed, you know, or, or saw fit to complement the defense. And that's what he built. Tyler, you all right, man? You said the BCS. Oh, hey, Tyler, yeah. fast forward about 24 years, bro. <laughs> you all right, Tyler? You straight, bro? I mean, we about a decade past that, John, now. <laughs> Tyler said the BCS, the Bowl Championship Series. <laughs> Tyler, you yeah. you better be like nine. If you nine, I apologize. Yeah, probably young. Got to be young. Got to you know be. He's still playing uh, NCAA revamp. Got to. You know, when that game supposed to come out, man? July 25th. They tripping, mm -hmm. man. They need to come on. Yeah, I already, it, hey, I already put in my um, I think I get PTO now that I'm a full staff member. Yeah. I think I'm gonna get some put in some time off that week. <laughs> I'm just playing. Yeah. See, there, hey, look, me and Kyle ain't gonna be on the show all week. It's gonna be Taylor doing that show all week. Yeah. Yeah, yeah bring the BCS back. <laughs> I need you. I asked, I asked Tyler, was he all right? Shout out to Tyler, man. We appreciate you, Tyler. For sure. <laughs> Dog. Me too, I'll be Kayla. acting up trying to feed it. Download immediately. I'm alone. Look, we've been on for an hour and 20 minutes, and y'all still acting up. <laughs> the chat y'all still acting too. up. Y'all. Oh, yeah. We 215 hey, strong. Shout out to the 215 in the chat, man. Yeah, man. This is the nights we like, you know, where we don't really have no... We just wind it down from a strong week. Like having 70 freaking recruits at a freaking spring practice is crazy, bro. Crimson Dad 13, what's up? Your OG Ephraim. Man, what's up, Ephraim? How you doing, bro? I ain't seen Ephraim all Oh, now nah, Ephraim want to pull up. He just woke up from a nap. <laughs> oh, yeah, dang. We do lose an hour tonight. Oh, is that tonight? Mm hmm. Oh, man. So we be getting up earlier now, huh? Mm hmm. Oh, my Get goodness, bro. The ghetto. Yeah. Wish I was out there with Ebony, Ebony them in Arizona. They don't do that. They don't do that. Right. Uh, time stuff. What, 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 why did, what is the point of daylight saving time, chat? Undefeated. All right, who created it? Somebody, I know it's a it's a scholar in there, in the chat, in the undefeated. I, I know it's a scholar out there. Give us the, the rundown behind um, daylight savings time. Because it seemed pointless to me. Shout out to Jay Probst. Shout out to Megan. Smooth, just screen catch yourself playing NCAA in July for a few days. We'd watch that. Oh, mm. something to think about. <laughs> Giving ideas. <laughs> mm hmm. Because I sure do it. Yeah. More hours of light. But who are we to determine who, what amount of hours of light we need? Yeah, Arizona don't do it. They don't like, do it. <laughs> who gave man permission to say, hey, this part of the country need more hours of light. Let's all move our clocks forward. Like Jarvis. It's it's, Jarvis. it's, a, it's the system, y'all. They trying to hold us down. They trying to keep us down, bro. It's something, it's man. Because Arizona. They don't, they don't want us they don't to even know. do it. They don't even do it. Arizona. Ebony said Arizona. They don't have none of that crazy stuff. Out there. Yeah. They got aliens out there. I believe it. A lot of desert, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of places to hide out there when you're mm -hmm. alien, man. For yep. sure. Ephraim, My, what's up, we, man? What you got to say, to, Ephraim? We got to do uh, a genetic test on uh, Noah. That joke be coming out. Where he come off the edge, he might be alien too. Yeah. That joke she is different. 
She wanted to play offense. Man, that boy need to stay on the edge, man. Yes, he do. Yes, he do, man. I'm telling you. And, but but then again, that sting yeah. might be good for him too. The way they yeah. plan. Farmers wake up early. They're <laughs> yeah, it was during World War One and World War Two when it was adopted as an energy saving tactic. Huh? Huh? Let's that. That's that. That's that. That's that, 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 that they like saving time. Oh snap! You don't put me on. Yeah, put me on too. Wow, wow, wow. Put me on too, man. For sure. Wow, 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 wow. Mook, I'm playing. <laughs> I'm mixed. playing first in the EA game. Uh oh, running table sports talking trash. I already, yeah, put, I already got Cinco on the on the um on the board running table. You can get up too. Together. I'm sure oh, it's yeah. gonna be. Look, I'm sure it's gonna be cross gen. So put that tournament together. Y'all yeah, already know we gonna be sponsoring a whole bunch of them. Yeah. I have the uh the the gaming um network on me and now they've been asking for me to come back. I almost hooked this mug up the other day and it did me a stream. Yeah. Get my skills back right. But I'm gonna stay off of it. I'm gonna be fair. I'm gonna stay off of it like everybody else. So when it come out, I don't want no excuses. Yeah. Cause you know what? Honestly, if I get bored, I might play it because they saying they changing the whole little sticking and stuff. It's all a different feel. No Madden really? feel. Yeah, but the the developers that did Madden um 20, I think it's Madden 20 that was. Somebody yeah. fact check that. I think it was Madden 20. That one was trash. So if they doing them mechanics, I ain't mm -mm. Yeah. They killing it. Shout out to all my homeboys from Birmingham, man. Shout out to my homeboy Terrence Jones. Shout out to my brother <laughs> who, re who rested in peace, Watanja Adams. Shout out to my partner Rafa Z back in the day doing his thing. Shout out oh, to Coco. Look who in the chat. Phillips. Shout out to all the boys. Is that Jake? Jake. Jake Merle. Shout out to JM doing his thing. Jake, we miss you, homie. Straight up, man. That's my dog. Man, I miss my dog. Man, Shout out to my BM. Shout to my BM people, man. Who sang that? Who CD that was on? I thought you were talking about Chris Tucker. That's my dog. <laughs> That's my dog. <laughs> you know what I mean? Man, Nicole, I you already dog. know. Shout out to them boys from the ham. Straight up. Kimberly, look. He do. <laughs> Kimberly, what you doing over there? You swigging up? She probably got some dog on uh, some of that country stuff, that corn liquor. The homie Jarvis, man. Jarvis, what's up, bro, bro? How you feeling, bro? Hope you good, man. Straight up, man. For sure. You talked to Coach J today? Smoke? Mm-mm. I ain't talking to Jay today. He was out here in them streets. Yeah. Acting up. I know he was. Not no I gin and Kool-Aid. Gin and Kool-Aid? Hell no. That's what Kimberly be on. <laughs> Kimberly. Kayla or Kimberly? Which Kimberly. One? Kimberly. Gin and Kool-Aid. Kimberly be, hey, Kimberly be turnt, man. I'm telling you, that's that's fam right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. All facts. All facts, man. Uh-oh. Good. We got love connection tonight. Uh oh. oh. Coach we got Sean, love which one of these is Michelle? Uh, pure gold is Michelle running the table. They say pure gold. Uh -oh. um, they went to the same we high school. They, they, both went to, they both went to Inslee. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's high. I'm trying to find where it went to. Yeah, I got a lot of homies from Inslee, man. A lot of partners I played with. You know what I'm saying? Not that I, I drank wine, two wine cools I could drink. <laughs> right. Is that Adam oh, again? That one, Shout out to Adam again doing his thing. The hosts and people in this chat is a testimony to the fact that Bama fans are the best in the world. We're going to win you it see all. See how chill we is. We ain't worried about nothing, Adam. Yeah, they gonna show up. Shout out to Adam, about... man. Thank you, Adam. We appreciate Shout you. Shout out, bro. For real, man. For real. Like we really not worried. Like the more I see, I'm like. I'm, I'm more worried about college football, like the rest of college football, because it's going. Y'all, listen. Can I get a? Can I get a? Hey, hold on. My alarm going off. Hold on for a minute. All right. What the hell this is? Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah. Lordy Jesus, it's a fire. Lordy Jesus, it's a fire. What's that, Steve Angle? Oh, Steven, we live now. Look. 
Look, y'all. Steven talking about is, is anybody on tonight? We live now, bro. What you time at? I'm on. He hit me. Yeah. Bro, we live now. What are you talking about? Look, the chat saying what's up. Undefeated, say what's up. Say what's up so y'all get on Instagram. Say what's up. Put some emotes in the chat. Put some emotes in the chat. Come on, come on. Hurry up, hurry up. But we run out of time. There we go. There we go. Yeah, see, Steven? Appreciate y'all. Steven, Steven, y'all see y'all? Y'all ain't y'all brother's keeper because if y'all was, Steven would have been here. Steven would have been here. All right, you ready, Sean? All right. Let me get the double. You good? You got to unmute. Hold on, I got you. Oh, you... Yeah, you got to unmute. Eddie. Yeah, yeah, I'm good, bro. This is why you don't let 12 year olds burn incense. Oh, Lordy Jesus. <laughs> right by the damn smoke detector. Oh, mm -hmm. my God. Yeah, we good, man. We good. We good. We good. Well, yeah, we was over here talking about um uh, Stephen Engel asking yeah. if we live tonight. Better turn on your post notifications, brother. What's up, Dwayne? I ain't even see you in here. How are you doing? Shout out to Dwayne, man. Up in the house. Oh. JJ said, don't cut that feed, please. <laughs> hey, y'all are so funny, man. Are we really that funny to y'all? Because we really don't be trying to act up. What's up, Jay? Yeah, I'm good, Marquita. What's up, Jay? My daughter just scared herself half to death just now. These damn ants and these big in, in, moon rockers. Hey, y'all, y'all like hanging out here. That's y'all, y'all just as crazy as me. Y'all like hanging out here. <laughs> we good, Marquita. I appreciate y'all just you, as though. crazy as me, man. Straight up. Oh snap! Look, y'all went to school together. That's what's up. That's the end. Hey, that's Bear. Know? That's Bear, girl. You don't remember? That's the end. You remember? I told her. I told him about you. I told her uh, about you, Bear. Yeah. West End. Of, yeah. Central Phoenix City Class. Of, oh, nah. I don't even claim my... I be claiming Russell County still, man. That's that hey, my man. family. Tell I said, what up with you, bro? Tell I said, hey, hey, you. Man. Tell us you know how we do back in the day. Yeah, back yeah. I'll be turn. Yeah, man. Did our thing, bro. So, Sean and Smook chat roach free tonight. Listen, I told y'all this is way better than the other. I'm telling you, I done had Sean. This this is your second like peaceful. We done had, but the thing is, even on my last stream, we had uh Ananiah in here, yeah. the Oregon fan, and like saying stuff, trolling, but it was like funny stuff. It was good, good yeah. stuff, cause. Oregon might go 11 and 1. You know, I, I went and looked at the roster again. I was like, <laughs> maybe I'm mean, $50. Y'all better keep super chatting so I can pay this. Because <laughs> they, they schedule is favorable for them. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, sure. and they, they bringing back a lot of talent, but it's it's going to be a transition. I don't think they, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm, I'm confident in my little bet. What she, what, what did they, what did, what did they bet you? Uh, we, we bet a little gentleman's bet, uh, $50 that, did they say what did she say? I mean, what did he say? Um, dang, somebody's supposed to remember the bet. It was either Oregon was going eleven and one or twelve and zero or something like that. What's hold up, on, Steven? Let me, let me give. Hold on, let me say this real here. OG three thousand. Look, if you that old, you should remember my homeboy House Raphael House. He played ball with me and uh, shout out to Raphael House, my brother House. I don't know if you remember House man, but House was a dog, bro. At school, he was a house was older, but he he Raphael House man, shout out to him man. Uh, West End for so for so. What y'all think about Judy and Coop in Cleveland? We were just talking about that man. That's gonna be crazy. That Bama connection gonna be crazy. They saying Mac Jones might go to Atlanta. Yeah, I seen that too. Hmm. I need to yeah, start Rock to the NFL. I remember Moon Rocker now that you say that. <laughs> I think I got on Cuz's head about that. About that damn duck profile. You bugging out with that. You know, trying to talk crazy. You got duck on your profile. Boy, you don't stop. 
Oh, facts, man. Yeah, shout out to all my Birmingham people for show, for show. You already know. K Mac, hey coaches, what do y'all about VR device Jaden Daniels used to help his pre snap reads and progressions? I don't know about that, K Mac. I've never used that. Every time I use something like that, it makes me sick. It makes me nauseous, right? Hey. It does, bro. And hey, look, Georgia Aquarium, they got this damn ride thing you put on, and it feel like you're driving underwater, right? Man, uh -huh. I'll be, be about to toss my cookies because. I cannot do that VR stuff. Look, Dave and Busters, Marquita, Dave and Busters has one where you can uh drive the top gun plane. Bro, I'm like Tom hey. Cruise, bro. Bro, I'm the black Tom hey, Cruise, bro. Wait, bro. Rewind. You gonna no, no, no. be about to toss you your wood? You gotta say I'm Tom Cruise first, bro. I'm the black Tom Cruise, man. I'm in the pilot doing my thing. Bro, I got sick as on know what, cuz look, look, I got the whole helmet and stuff on. And when you oh, when, when the plane turn, it feel like I'm turning, right? My little belly, what you call it? When you, you know, when you when you, you uh, the G forces, yeah. the G, bro. I don't like them VR things, cause uh -uh. Hey, they, be your, they be having your boy throw it off, man. I the <laughs> is be acting. Hey, man, them VR. I got the hey. best hands, bro. He said, he That's said, me, toss his me. cookies, bro. Yeah, yeah man, I'm about to talk like my cookies, cookies, man. That VR ain't cool, man. I'm telling y'all, it's not cool mm -hmm. at all. It's not. I mean, it, it, it's very realistic. It's damn near too realistic, right? Oh, man. I, 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 I don't suggest that to everybody, bro. If you got to He acting up, man. We go get him. Pure go. I mean, Michelle, you already know. The Black Tom. I like Top Gun, man. I'm a Top Gun man. I'm the Black bro. Tom Cruise. Highway <laughs> to the danger zone. Boy, come on. Don't get me started now. I love Top Gun, bro. <laughs> love it. Top Gun, boy. I went to see the movie. Charles the Granger showing the love for Coach Son and Coach Smooth. Hey, appreciate it, Charles. Appreciate, appreciate y'all for hanging out. Look, if y'all wanted to talk football the whole night, y'all came to the wrong podcast because this this the this one took a hard right. Hey, Meryl. This was a hard right. Appreciate that. Meryl, you Charles. already know, Meryl. <laughs> look, look at George. George's like, Sean oh, Serge is out there playing volleyball. Hey, man, uh -huh. I'm going to Tom Cruise, my man, bro. All that day. Movie. Love it. Tell you, man, Top Gun was a classic, bro. Classic, bro. I love Top Gun. My dad, that's that's one of the like that's one of the ones we got cassette tapes in the uh in the storage in the back yeah. of the house right now. Like we got yeah. old vinyl records and all that. You gonna go out there? You gonna see the VHS of uh, the original Lion King, all the Disney movies. We had the whole Disney lineup. Anybody else still got Disney movies like the classics? Y'all know how much money they worth right now? Yeah, because the rest facts. of them are vaulted. Y'all know how much money they are worth a lot of money. I was telling my folks, I was like, "Hey, we get down bad, go to the pawn shop real quick with them VHSs. We got DVDs now. We can DVDs gonna be worth something in a little bit." Look, why you laughing? Yeah. My neighbor had a Michael Jackson doll in the box, like never been opened. Right? Put yep, that thing on eBay. Know. Guess how much they bought it for, bro? Fifteen thousand dollars, bro. And I seen one go for fifteen grand. I, I seen one go for a dog on one hundred and eighteen thousand, bro. One hundred and eighteen, bro. That is crazy to me. When he first died, oh my god. That's hey, crazy, rest in peace, man. Michael Jackson, man. Facts, man. Rest in peace. Oh no, hold on. She said, "What? Wait a minute. Now, I know you don't have it. I still had a thriller." Oh, Final hey, 33. one more, one more thing too before you answer that. Before you get to that, what's up? Um. Shout out to Zamir Smith, man. Yeah. Shout out to that young man. And congratulations. I'm proud of that young man. I got to have a long conversation with that young man the first night I connected with him about two weeks ago. And uh, he was really, I mean, now that he's committed, we I can kind of talk about it. But he was really like adamant about being being something. You know what I'm saying? Becoming something. You know, yeah. and, and I'm, I'm proud of him, man. He, he's taking this process and I talked to him earlier today. He just sounded so happy, man. And, uh, you know, he's celebrating with the family night. That's why we couldn't have him on early. He they ended up celebrating with the family, which is important, man. Uh, and he'll, he'll be able to tell his story when he come on. So be on the lookout. We are going to get him live one day, hopefully tomorrow. But his family is very proud of him. Uh, he comes from a, a, a very well, uh, you know, family environment, right? Yeah. Not necessarily, you know, what you would expect, but 
The young man got a story, man, and I'm proud of him, like, for real. Like, talking to him and over the past two weeks has been like, I'm growing. I, that's why I, I was scared to get into this industry like this, man, because when I build relationships, I really care. You know what I'm saying? I still talk to my first wide receiver that uh, signed his scholarship. That was 2019. You know, I still talk to that, uh, JT. Shout out to JT, man. Um, I still talk to him, like, at least once a month or reach out to him at least once a month, man, because I care. So, like, I, I want to see this young man do great things, man, that when he gets here at the University of Alabama. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Proud of that kid, man. Anytime these kids get an opportunity to come here, it's always outstanding, bro. You know what I'm saying? The Montgomery Biscuit profile. What? What happened? Montgomery. I don't know. I was just reading. Um, is is this the same Sean that had the Montgomery Biscuits profile? I don't even know what Montgomery Biscuit is. The Montgomery Biscuits is uh, they triple A uh, baseball team, and they be lit. They be lit. Nah, no, I ain't never had none of that. Them, that them might be them, Sean. Yeah, that's a. She said, oh, "Okay, Sean." <laughs> she might be talking to Sean right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 That's what she I'm talking to that Sean. I couldn't say. Yeah, Montgomery. I figured because he got the Alabama State yes. logo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, I see points, it. Sean. You know what I'm saying? I, I, look, me yeah. and Michelle, we all see that. We 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 yeah. we see that yeah. logo. Yeah, I see it. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Yeah, I see them haunted. Them yeah, big bees yeah. be coming out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My mom, yeah. Hey, my is my if my mama in the chat. I remember the first time I got to see, experience that atmosphere live, uh, Turkey Day Classic, when they used to play it in the Crampton Bowl, man. And it was Tavares' senior year, uh, his last year starting. Yeah. And man, Cuzzo went crazy that game. I think he he had three rushing touchdowns. Uh, I, think, I think he had two passing. I mean, he went crazy. He went crazy. He went full Vic mode. Yeah, they was talking about. That's when they really started talking about him on ESPN, talking about he can go in, go in the draft. Because back then, you know, it wasn't it wasn't a thing. It wasn't that many yeah. getting it like that. Shout out to him too, man. Shout yeah, out to Tavares for Rest in peace, so. T. Jack, man. Oh, facts, man. Oh, Dang. facts, bro. But yeah, Cinco, what's up, bro? The super, super, uh, the super, uh, what you call those? What you call those things? Graphics doing? guy. Graphics, yeah, yeah, yeah. Super Cinco graphics guy. How do Cinco. you do? Yeah. He, <laughs> He do his thing, man. Yeah, he man. Do his thing. Brody, oh, hey, this is the next one. This is the next great uh song. Uh, okay. When it comes to that that writing, that writers, yeah, beat writer. Yeah. He he the next one, bro. He I'm telling y'all, chat. If y'all don't follow Brody Smooth on Twitter yet, go check bro bro out. Like he supports the channel. He shows love. Um, he's actually uh with uh Ryan Fowler. That's who he's under studying, bro. Like yeah, that's whose presence he's in. So, y'all tap in with him when he puts out information. I reference him a lot for all the professional style stuff because y'all know me and Sean. We still we still trying to we still trying to get civilized around here. You know what I'm saying? We, yeah. We 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 just enrolled at Civilization University. So y'all check Brody out, right. man. Shout out to Brody, man, for sure. Shout out to you, Brody. Keep doing your thing, brother. Keep doing your yeah. thing, man. Yeah, man. Smooth, smooth. Yeah, that's my brother. Hey, God's plan. Just wait. Yeah. We cooking. Tell him, bro, we cooking. They need to have a cooking emoji. That's what that's what's next. We cooking. Oh, like when Kyle get to rolling on his segments. Yeah, yeah. we need the emoji. The, we cooking. Yeah. yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm proud of dude, man. That's good stuff, brother. That's good man. stuff. We got a lot going oh, man. on, man. Like, we got a lot to be happy about, y'all. In the midst of life, testing trials. Like, if you just slow down, take a breath, you got a lot to be happy about. And it ain't all got to be about you. You know what I'm saying? It could be about your brother to your left, your sister to your right, like somebody in your family got. It's <laughs> wrong with you, Lou, man. <laughs> he done messed up my whole serious moment, y'all. He, he acted Look, up tonight, y'all. Listen, Smith. I was it was having a the whole moment. It was, it was one more drop in there, man. You can't waste. Waste not, won't not, bro. You, you understand. You and Cinco going to be best friends, bro. You and Cinco going to be best friends because when I'm on the phone with that fool, he do the same thing, man. This is cool, man. I wish Kyle could jump in here and vibe out because Kyle will have us laughing too. Kyle funny, y'all. Kyle is funny. I'm going to tell y'all, Kyle is, uh, he's not very spiritual, but he does, he he understands there's a higher power type junk, right? And he yeah. he's he's very respectful. He he loves to get knowledge, gain knowledge. He's 
he's a very open person, free spirit type person. But when it comes to getting that work done, Ty, Kyle is that dude, man. Like he get to rolling, he get to cooking. Me and T be looking at him like, okay, and we'll get this doing on something. He's like, you know what? As a matter of fact, boom, and he'll airdrop it to us. Like, dang, can I pull it up for a second? And yeah. I mean, he just cooks, man. So I like I like being around somebody like that because uh the other day when i had to do everything by myself yesterday it was tough man i was like how he been doing it this long so and it made me want to get right bro made me want to get right that's good business man yeah. let me say this real quick before we dip dip out um again a big shout out to Bo Scarborough. you know what i mean really appreciate him a big big shout out to our brother jay mirror right here man jm i call him jm that's jake mirror that's one of our other hosts one of our other coaches love his intakes on football the guy knows football left and right i can always tell a defensive guy you know what i mean first time i listened to jake i said yep mm -hmm. yep you know the offensive guys can always tell the defensive guys shout out to jake man i love jake to death man can't wait to get him back up on here bro and uh mary we miss you homie all love my friend you already know bro straight up shout out to coach jay too and ty hayes these guys are awesome you know what i mean coach Luke rock with them all facts yeah, for sure. Yeah, my dogs, man. Let me tell you though, y'all want another history of, of how this thing came together? Me and Ty was doing Bleach Report together, and we I think we had like the biggest numbers of all the little things. Like they 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 commended on uh our sec. Uh, no, nah, as a matter of fact, it was the one with all three of us, me, Ty, and Kyle. We was on Bleach Report together, and this was before I came over to um Bama football. It was before Ty came over. Everybody was still doing their separate things, and we came together on Bleach Report, man. That was crazy. I think like 800 people jumped in our jump. It was crazy, man. Nobody else was doing that. We was. Mm -hmm. We were. We was in the kitchen cooking while y'all was back there looking. Then your girl mm -hmm. came, got shooken. Ooh, boy, that boy got heat, don't it? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> <Got bored. laughs> no, that boy got heat. What up, Rodney? Rodney and uh. I was just gonna put it up for you. Go ahead, my man. Yeah, my boy Rodney in the chat. Hey, I thought I, Rodney, it was a dude at the game. His name was Rodney. I thought it was you. And he would say he watched the show too. So we got some Rodneys out there. They so, uh, you famous up here too. You famous up here too. I was everybody be joking about me, but folks know who Sean is too. Coach Sean. They know who Coach Sean is. The proof is in the details. I was like, yeah, that's my brother. That's my brother. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. Man. Hey, because yeah, man, it bro. was like a group of people talking about like when they noticed me, me, they just started talking about the show, bro. And it felt good. I was like, man, that's crazy. Like me being noticed from YouTube and content, like that's crazy. Yeah. I've been yeah. doing content for four years now. I've never, never been at Walmart and nobody even back home, like people back home, they just know me, but like nobody been like, Man, I seen your TikTok. They be like, I seen your TikTok on Facebook story, bro. That joint was funny. Like, <laughs> yeah. It ain't the yeah, same it though. Yeah, it's a blessing. It's bro. humbling, bro. Yeah, straight mm -hmm. up, man. It's a blessing for so, for so. All right, Michelle. Much love to you, man. For so, for so. Tap in with Michelle, you. appreciate you for hanging out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Jay Mir, you already know, man. You already know, bro, bro. You know what I mean? Anthony, wait, 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 wait yeah, till we get sure. off. Of I was just about to click on it. That's a fire Anthony. emoji, too. I didn't even know hey, they had them. Sean, did Sean peer pressure you to do that, Anthony? No, you don't have to do what he say, Anthony. That boy from, hey, that boy from, uh, he from uh, Ann Street, ain't it? Anthony, you all, you, you, you from Ann Street. <laughs> you went to so, the Lee. Shout out to you, Anthony, man. Even though that <laughs> that horrible, horrible, horrible emoji you just put up, right? Um, hey, Matt, yeah. you know it's crazy, and it's some older, it's some older people that notice me too. That's crazy. Like, it's some people that watch this show. We always got 168. We average about 80 to, you know, 60 to 80 actively chatting. Yeah, so. <laughs> son, you peer pressured him, son. Tell the truth. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. What's good? Anthony Harris. Why that name? It, it feel familiar. If you from Montgomery, we might know. I might know you. We had an Anthony Harris on my uh, on our squad at Faulkner my freshman year. What, what Caleb said, Brody Smoot is... London Merritt, by chance, any related to Miguel Merritt, former Bama? My bad. Yeah, I, I hit the damn. Go ahead, get it back. Okay. Uh, former Bama linebacker was on the 99 SEC title team. Well, that's a long question, but it makes sense. Miguel Merritt, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. 
You know about Miguel? Yeah, yeah. That's been a minute said, ago. I'm not sure I can check up on that. Yeah, Brody gonna find out. That's been a nice little, little hot minute. Shout to Nicole. I knew I, I liked you, Nicole. I knew Look, I, I got you. I got you. I got you. I, 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 Sean Williams. That's what I want you to read. That comment right there, my brother Sean. Hey, that read. boy said he from Ridgecrest. To my folks from Ridgecrest too, boy. I used to be on Delano all the time. Aunt Rose, if you know, if you if you from Ridgecrest, you know Rosemary Ramsey. What you is know Ridge Rosemary? Crest? Where's that at? It's on the west side in Montgomery. Oh, I think it's west side oh, of the south. Dump, dump. Yeah, in the dump. Okay. Good business. Good business. Ridgecrest on the west. I ain't from. I ain't from Montgomery. My, all my family from Montgomery. So when they be talking about sides, I be like, I don't know. I know uh Twain. What it was? Uh Tulane Court. Ain't that the north? Right. Yeah, that's on the west. Yep. And then on the south, they got the Krispy Kreme. <laughs> like I said, Dollar Say. <laughs> oh, is DSU, you, you ever seen the mascot? What's the DSU? DSU. What's, uh, what's, what's DSU? Patriot. D- DSU, Delta State. Where everybody else from? Like, we got a lot of folks from Alabama here. We got some folks from, like, uh, Indiana or something. Like we ain't had we ain't had nobody from Vermont yet tap in. We gotta they, get to Vermont, chat. Do they play football in Vermont? Vermont? I, I bet see. you I bet you can't give me one city in Vermont. De La Salle. Really? Is that in Vermont? Yeah. <laughs> you see you yeah. <laughs> It didn't sound too confident. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm about to Google it now. <laughs> Man, Vermont. Uh oh, they go George. George got us. Montpelier. Montpelier. I have never heard of that. Oh, I thought I found some. Fighting okra. Hell no. For real, Patriot the Life? Fighting that okra. That's name? the name. Is Stop that the real playing. name, Patriot Life? Stop playing. We got to hold on. Screenshot alert if it is. Stop playing. Patriot Life, you, you acting up. The fighting Hold on. Who DSU? What's the name of the school? DSU fighting, Bruh, It is. It is the fighting okra. The fighting okra. Wow. Delta State University. I said Delta State. I said that earlier. I said Delta State. Fighting that's okra. The yeah. DS, that's the only DSU I know of. That's crazy. Sure. I didn't know there was the fighting okra. If that ain't. Hey, look at Jake. Look at Jake. Look at Jake. You see Jake? Pull Jake up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. The fighting okra. For real. Hey, Jalef, I thought you was BSing, man. You was right, oh, yeah. man. Look. Fighting okra. Hell no. It's a piece of okra, man. No, bro. No. No, bro. We got to change that mascot, bro. We need to write their president right now, bro. We do, man. They been doing all this stuff about the Washington Redskins and stuff, and they got fighting okra. Middleton State, over. come on, dog! Wow, man, y'all, it's oh, funny, but come on, man, that's who's sending their child to that school? If come on, man, that ain't cool. So, so what do you say when you're a part of the team? I'm an, I'm a, I'm a, I'm an oak right, I'm an oak right. Yeah, is that it? I'm an oak. Are we okranists? That's terrible, bro. That, that that might be the worst mascot I've ever seen. Possibly, <laughs> you're a piece of okra, and you're Tell a your inner okra, okra baby. Yeah, that, that that's 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 terrible. Kind of your inner okra. You got Brittany B C. Kind of your inner okra. That's terrible. Yeah. We're fighting uh, okra. Yeah. yeah. Hey, but that's where Pete he Golding come it. from. Pete Golding come from that. Yeah. Pete Golding he did. Yeah. Delta State it was always a joke around the Delta. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, wow. this is this is awesome. I, honestly, I'm I I don't cha- I don't change it. I I stay with it. That's terrible, bro. And look, well, Dwight, do you, look, Dwight, do don't say that with Ebony in here. Don't say that with Ebony in here, Dwight. She'd be hot, boy. That cray cray. <laughs> look, Dwight say Ohio there State is a nut. I didn't know what a Buckeye was. I had to go Google it. It is a nut, right? That little mascot we see is a nut. It's a special kind of nut, a, 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 buck, a Buckeye. That's oh, horrible. Jesus. We That's out here. Terrible. So I don't want to hear anybody talk about the elephant, the elephant anymore. If your mm-hmm. mascot is a freaking fried nut. okra and a piece of fried okra, that's yo terrible. King's Kitchen has 
King's Kitchen. Shout out King's Kitchen um, in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. That, that place, bruh. You, I had to go. I was asking them folks if my grandma was back there. My grandma like passed in, My grandma passed in 2006, and I thought she was back there in that kitchen cooking. I thought she tried to bail on us because her children was getting on her nerves, and she didn't want to just, you know, Oh, just leave the children, leave the grandchildren. So she came up here to King's Kitchen and started cooking. That's what I thought when I bit into them greens and I Listen, started eating that cornbread. Patriot Life. No, I know you were telling the truth. You said it, Patriot Life and Sean. Real stuff. That's that's their mascot. Listen, Smoke. If you in Huntsville, anybody in this area can tell you when you come up here, we're gonna take you to G's Country Kitchen and Betty mm -hmm. Maids. Is it open on and Sundays? Yeah. I, I, All right. You, you'll see. You'll see. I might be out there tomorrow. I got you covered, man. I'm, I got I'm you covered. I'm, Let me I, know, I, I, man. For real, because I'm waking up early to go to church. Facts, Eric D. I'm, I'm going to early service tomorrow, y'all. Pray for you, boy. I'm going to early service. I'm trying to knock it out. Because I think we might be off tomorrow, Chad. I don't know. Uh, Kyle might come on and do his thing because he's on vacation for a few hours, and then everybody might be off tomorrow because we got to recruit. And then spring break, we got to get a lot of content pushed out to y'all, so... Yeah, man. Got a lot going on over here, man. I, I don't know why I done jumped on your segment. And took Let me say this real quick. Marquita, you right. G's has fell off than what they was. They they not like Betty Mays to me right now is better than G's. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Look, everybody, they, everybody agree and look. Yeah, Betty Mays go hard. Like Betty bro. Mays in my spirit. When you said that, it just shook my shondo. Yeah, so I just man. Felt that thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, facts, that page, meeting, right? Hey, fast, bro. I'm telling you. Yeah. I'm telling you, bro. Look, I went, to, now I went to Birmingham a couple weeks ago in this place called Nikki West. Man, listen. Mm. They listen. was on the show or something. Man, if you in Birmingham, that What's Nikki up, West, I went in there and got my little tummy full, man. It reminded me of Morrison's back in the day. It was good that way. Oh. It was good <laughs> like that, bro. Okay, my bad. What you doing? What you doing, Smoke? Oh, okay. Eagles is way better than Nikki West. Eagles. I ain't never heard of Eagles, Davin. Where where is Eagles at, Davin? Nikki West was straight. I went to Nikki West. It was straight. Man, I, we had a good time. We had a really good time, man. Nikki West's was was straight, man. It was good. If it's if this place is better than Nikki West, I gotta go there, Davin. Let me know where that place is at in Birmingham. I really do need to know. I'll Google it if, if, if I can't get the address. Um, Sean, you changing your avatar? Up and, oh, my bad. Somebody. Oh, um, weird. There we go. I think this layout better now. Yeah. Yeah. I need to find out what this Eagles is, man. It's in North Birmingham by Nikki West. It's in North Birmingham? Okay. Okay, if it's by Nikki West, then I definitely can find it, man. Man, I just mm. want to go eat some good soul food wherever we go, bro, because I've been missing it about a year. They got a couple places up here that, that's like that. As a matter of fact, let me text my guy son. I'm going to see what he's doing tomorrow. Thank you, Davin. I got it right here, Davin. I appreciate you, bro, bro. We'll check that place out for Y'all sure, done turned man. this into like a, a late night vibe. Just chilling. We ain't said nothing. Listen. <laughs> no, content coming up though. Uh, uh -oh. we gonna we're gonna get a lot of shorts out tomorrow too, y'all. Eagles is not good. Uh oh. Somebody, you are behind the comments. I am? Oh, I'm on y'all on y'all screen, I'm behind the comments. That's cool. Y'all need to see me. <laughs> I ain't no Please don't waste your money. Uh oh, Nicole giving me the other side of it. She said, "No." Oh Eagles, Lord, man. we got we got animosity in the chat. Let me ask him this real quick, Coach. Uh, Nicole, is it better than Nikki West? Is Eagles better than Nikki West? Uh, Davin says it's better. In your opinion, is Nikki West better? Because Nikki West, I still got pictures of that stuff, bro, and it was freaking awesome. Mm -hmm. Hey, good up in that joint. I'm gonna show you the pictures, Mook. Hold on before you dip out. You mm -hmm. gotta see this, bro. They, they. I'm talking about, man. I had, bro. I went there. It, it was, it was good. Screenshot it was, alert. It was good, like that. Good for sure. Like, mm -hmm. and this time I'm in Birmingham. I'm going by that place, man. 
Definitely not better than Nikki West. Is way better. Okay. Okay. Let me see if you can see this plate right here, bro. You probably gonna be able to see everything on it. Man. Just send, text it to me. I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna screenshot like that bad boy. Okay. Mm mm mm. Hey, vote right now. Hold on. Where's it? I ain't got a thing up. Right now, is this the theme song for the new Crimson Tide? I'm telling y'all, bro, them boys will get hyped to that. Y'all can't tell me that. They would, they'll get hyped, especially on that part right there. I had to find this move. I can't mm-hmm. find it, bro. I got so many pictures. Hang it. Chat, should we do a more linguist graphic? <laughs> Heck yeah, you behind, bro. We should have been there one. Man, Mo got so much energy, bro. Yeah. I don't know who more energetic, him or uh, uh, Shep. I don't know, man. Coach Shep, Coach Mo. Them jokers got some energy, like yeah. energy, bro. And they all look in good shape, too. They all look like yeah, they in good man. shape. Coach G look like he done been back on the waist, too. Gillespie. Oh, for real? Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Back wide as a mug. I was like. Yeah. And and then, so, um, when I was leaving out the other night from, you know, getting all the videos uploaded and stuff, uh, yeah. Josh Max in the SID for the football uh, department program, he was coming back from working out. And like yeah. I'm like, okay, is this like a new theme around the, the 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 administration and the staff? Like everybody hitting the weights because you already know strength and conditioning that you have to be in shape. Like Dave Blue yeah. don't play that. You're not out there. You don't see no chunky girls out there. Them girls that's fit. You know them, them big girls with them legs, boy. They be out there moving, throwing water yeah. bottles across the field. You know what I'm saying? Taking full big old buckets of ice, dumping it on players in the middle. Of practice. Oh, they be like that. Man, they get active out there, bro. Yeah, I ain't never seen it, but I just imagine, you know, in my brain, that's how it went down. Facts, facts, facts. Jamir said KD lost 20 to 25 pounds. He's getting back to his wide receiver days. Wow. Yeah, yeah. He that might be a it, thing. That might be a hey, thing, Smoke. Jack, Jack, uh, Jake, um, Jake, did you uh, did you hear the story about him uh, calling uh, the receivers out, talking about he could route, or uh, calling DBs out, talking about he could route folks up? Did you hear the joke about him? Who, who was saying that? Who was saying that? Coach, Coach DeBoer. Caleb DeBoer. What did he, what, what did he say? He, he, it's like he, it's a little running joke that he he be talking trash to DB saying he could ride him up. Like he could he could still he still got it. I yeah. said, all right. And that's the way Coach Saban was. Coach Saban yeah. did the same thing. He would tell the receiver quick, I jam you up. You know, I lock you down. You know? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, that's man. Good stuff, bro. So, Smook, I'm finna get on up out of here, my brother. Oh, me too. Me too. We hit the two-hour mark. Y'all made it fire. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, man. And we got we got, we got, got a lot of content coming. Um, don't forget, y'all, continue to support the channel. We appreciate y'all yeah. hanging out and allowing us this freedom and this space to kind of, like, just, yeah. just have fun with y'all. Y'all make it fun and make it easy. Um, you know, hopefully we don't get no emails from people in the chat that want to hear about Jalen Miro storm motion all night or, you know, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it, this was fun. This is what this network is about. This is a family network. We get back to business, you know, Monday morning. But you know, these weekends, yeah. let's enjoy them together. You know, let's digest. Take Friday to digest. Saturday morning, kind of digest. Even morning, Saturday night should be calm. You know, I know Kyle. If, if they weren't busy right now, they he would be right here along with us, acting up. Yeah. Um. Yeah, man. It's 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 a good time to be here. Um. Shouts out to my bro once again, Sean. You you did your thing. And then uh, we you, just man. we just naturally collab. I think the whole team is like that. We just naturally collab, so it's, it's not hard to get on here and talk. But yeah, man, that's all I got. At Coach Smook on everything. I'm back on Snapchat. I don't know if it's Coach Smook on that on Snapchat, but I'm back on that mug because it's easier to do snaps when I'm at them basketball games and I'm doing like my my hey my vlog gonna be posted tonight too, y'all on my channel. My vlog my vlog gonna be posted. So if you ain't subscribed to me, I'm posting my first vlog over there. Uh, almost done editing and all that stuff. So, but yeah, that's all I got going on, man. Coach Sean, that'll work, man. I appreciate everybody. As I said earlier, man, appreciate to my guys, Coach Smooth pulling up always, always bringing great energy to the to the segments. Appreciate everybody in the undefeated, man. You guys are awesome as always, and we'll probably be tapping back in uh, back in with you guys on Monday, man. Roll Tide. Hope you guys have a great night, man.
Yeah, enjoy y'all night. Roll tight.